Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to Yao Live. In this stream, I'm going to be attempting to draw characters suggested by you guys in the chat. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up finishing these drawings. I do want to get to each one of them, or at least as many as I can. And so, I may end up drawing some sketches, uh, but I will do my best to draw what I can and make it look good for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. It really helps the channel. And uh, if you comment down below, uh, it also helps out with the YouTube algorithm, which is kind of like a weird Rubik's Cube right now. So it'll turn out pretty good if you can help me out by just, you know, saying what you want in the comments as long as it has something to do with the video. Or yeah, life, or cream soda. You know, I love that stuff, baby. Okay. Now, we're going to start with... Let's try Gengar. Gengar was suggested by me... Was uh, suggested in the chat. So, let's see. Are you not going to introduce me at all? Who are you? Uh, you're not going to introduce your best friend, uh, Yowlife? <laughs> okay, I'm Kristen, and this, in joining me right now is Ethan. Yeah, my name is Ethan. I'm also known as Bless Mop. I do have a YouTube channel, and for the most part, we've recently been doing a lot of streaming, and I've been part of that. Yes, Ethan, uh, he has his own YouTube channel. He does some Let's Plays, and we're going to try and do some podcasts at some point in time. But he's helped me out with some of my videos, and so I've asked him to join me in the stream and uh, help chat, shoot the breeze as I draw. So, Ethan, uh, you know what we're drawing right now? Uh, Gengar. Yep. Anything to say about him? Uh, I was never a big Poke. I was somewhat of a big Pokemon fan. I never collected cards. I played only like maybe two or three Pokemon games, and I only like the waifus in pokemon that's about it of course you know well by waifus do you mean like nurse joy nurse jenny and jesse you know all the of age characters uh yeah sure let's go with that well technically uh, technically everyone's of, of age technically now with how old the anime is i suppose if you want to be technical you know they were 10 when we were younger than them so uh by nowadays they would be much older I mean, anything could be a waifu if you're brave enough. Hmm? Even Gengar? <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's plenty of waifu of Pokemon. <laughs> Let's see, I want this to be a bit wackier. So, just doing a rough sketch right now, just to get the idea across. Are you wearing a Pokemon shirt, by the way? Are you wearing a Pikachu shirt? Yes, I am wearing Pikachu because Pikachu <laughs> is uh, convenient. Convenient. I, I, had, I just had it available. You know, I am a big fan of the Pokemon anime, but it just got too long for me. Uh, I can understand that. I mean, I, I can't say too much because I've watched like One Piece and let me actually check how many how many episodes of One Piece there are, because... Because I've watched a good amount of them. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is as long as One Piece, maybe even longer. It's one of the longest running anime based off of a video game, which is something that people seem to forget. Oh, Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was made because the video game was popular so pretty mm -hmm. much it's based off the video game it says there's 900 episodes of one piece that's one piece um one weird. 900 and something 900 and something and that I was like that's pretty crazy 934 episodes of one piece and i've read a, and i've watched about maybe about 500 of them so dang you really got the drop on me i stopped watching one piece Believe it or not, in the four kids era. Yeah, I, the, I mean, I've seen some of the newer episodes, and I saw the ending of the, um, the arc where they go to the Nightmare Island, and they fight the clown. Mm -hmm. I saw that, but I just 
I didn't really see the whole arc. I just saw the ending. And the the last time I actually saw it from beginning to the latest episode at the time was during the Four Kids era, where where they introduced Chopper. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, that one. That was, that's that's actually you're not that far. You're only like maybe about a hundred episodes or so, maybe. Really? Yeah, Chopper isn't Chopper is pretty early or well, not it's not late it's pretty early in this have you met uh oh, oh early crocodile? have you met uh did you see the crocodile crocodile um or like all the like miss sunday uh crocodile um miss valentine like all like all the characters that were named after either holidays or weekends mm, i don't know it's hard for me to even remember the characters names or at least everyone right. that isn't out of the main cast from the four kids opening. All right, and uh, looks like for Pokemon, there's a thousand one hundred and thirteen episodes. A thousand, jeez. And that's including all of them from from first season to season twenty three. So, and I'm pretty sure that also includes like the like every iteration of from. Indigo, uh, yeah, Indigo League to, um, what, what's the current one? X and Y, I think? Uh, no, the current one would be Sun and Moon, I think. Oh, then, well, have they started animating that one? There should be a Sword and Shield coming up at some point. Sword Probably. and Shield is the newest game. So, let's see, the thickness of this outline needs to be thicker, because you can barely make him out this is just the sketch so let's try to we have time let's try to make him look a bit more handsome let's rub <laughs> some handsome cream on him you looking through the chat you uh seeing what everyone's saying we got to make sure yeah there uh, oh, there's some people asking if you ever well i want to know if you've even seen the series have you ever heard of a, the pre-cure series oh pretty pretty cure yeah pre-cure I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. See, there was a person asking if you tried if you tried drawing any of them. I've never seen it. I've heard of it. I never. I know seen it's it, a though. girl, like a magical girl anime. And yeah. Well, that's nice. Uh, not sure I'd be interested in that. Um, but but I'll definitely give it a chance. I always give something a chance. I gave Ray Earth a chance, and that didn't turn out too well for me. Ray Earth, what's that? I can tell you this much. It's an anime where girls keep crying and um, then they have giant robots and they talk about their feelings a lot. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at my really cold mech. It's so beautiful. The episode I saw was like they were sad that a character died and they're like, I know it can do better. And then it turned out the character didn't <laughs> die. And then like they didn't even get inside the robot they just talked about the robot that's funny uh i got it on vhs and i thought it would be awesome because it was girls and giant robots it just sounded awesome and then when i started watching it was not or at least not to me so uh one of the person the way they described it was preaker is like magical girls but dragon ball z really that sounds pretty interesting. I think there is actually like teenage or adult versions of Pre Cure, like where they're like adults. I might check out this Pretty Cure anime. Oh, or at like the most, time. high schoolers. I'm pretty sure. It, it is very flowery. I'll give it that. I'm looking at like pictures of it, and it is very bright and very colorful. I'll give it that. But some of the characters do look pretty... They look at most a high schooler, it looks like. Some of them, not all of them. I wonder how, wonder how like, deep the lore goes for Precure. You know, it goes deep, man. You, like, you don't even know. Like, there's there's actually some religions that started up from Pretty Cure. There's the uh, Curology. Have you heard of that? I don't... I can't say I have. Of course you can't say, because if you did, you'd be dead. 
it's the sad, sad fate of being part of the Pretty Cure fandom. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Let's see, I'm going to make well, this guy a bit more Power Rangers. Power Rangers was the thing for me. Power Rangers was a big thing for me when I was a kid. Which, There's someone in this, someone in the, in the chat was saying talking about Power Rangers. Which uh, which Power Rangers uh, were you into? Uh, I I watched uh, I watched some of Dino Force, and uh, I like that one. But it brings back weird memories. Have you ever like you ever got like a memory of when you like when you watch something you, you remember what what you tasted when you watched that show? Tasted. Yeah, well, well, yeah, like I guess I can it's, imagine it. Uh, it's hard for me to think well, of right it, now. Whenever, whenever, whenever in the morning, because that's when I usually watch Dino Force in the morning. Um, oh, I would, oh, I would eat like a nature, oh, yeah, yeah. like, like a nature yeah. green valley bar. I gotta tell you. And, and yeah. whenever, whenever I watch it now, I just whenever I watch Digimon, like uh, I forgot which Digimon it is, or um, Power Rangers, Dino Force, I get that taste in my mouth of the of uh, the nature valley. Gr- Nature Valley granola bars. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, no, they're not Taste granola nature. bars. They're like what? They're like Wait, the crunchy, not? whatever the heck, whatever they were. Was it like a cereal? Uh, no. Well, no, it wasn't. It was like it was like it was like a hard, a hard candy. Is that what you said? I didn't know Nature Valley made hard candies. That's that's interesting. <laughs> You're cutting out right now, so all I can tell the viewers is that you like Nature Valley hard candy. So, wow, uh, that's, it's not I learn candy. something new every day. So I got that eyebrow done. I'm gonna just, just draw the rest of the eye right there. Now I'm going to fill that in. Oh, and what you were saying before when you said that. You get a taste in your mouth, you know, when you watch an old show, right? Yeah. Uh, that actually did remind me of that very experience. But for me, it was Buzz Lightyear. The old uh, cartoon that used to air on Disney. Uh, in the morning, my mom would always make me scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. And that was it, just scrambled eggs. Uh, and uh, I remember just eating scrambled eggs, waiting for the bus at my house because the ha- the bus would just pick us up at the house and just watching Buzz Lightyear uh, so now whenever I watch Buzz Lightyear I get the taste of scrambled eggs oh the animated one huh yeah I had the game and uh, for I think it was on PlayStation and, or PlayStation 2 maybe um, I don't remember much of it I, I, it's been a while but um I thought it was a good show I think that was yeah, I, I, I don't I, I don't remember the show. I, I remember the game a little bit more than the show. I'm pretty sure there was a Buzz Lightyear game. I could probably look it up. A Buzz Lightyear game? I don't yeah. Know. I know there was a Toy wanna... Story game. Now, uh, maybe maybe it was Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Or that, that's yeah, that was definitely called. the show. No, that's the game too. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command was okay, the game. Then. That's probably yeah, it was probably based on the show. Yeah, it, it was weird though. We just go on random tangents. I'm so sorry. It's not that random, honestly. <laughs> you know, I always wondered why as a kid I wondered why Buzz Lightyear's friends from the show weren't in Toy Story. I, I, I don't I even know who they are, to be honest. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I remember there's a big red guy who was the janitor, and there was the girl, and there was this one guy who was my favorite. He was like a robot, but his head looked like the map from Dora the Explorer. <laughs> oh, I'm the map. I'm the map. Yeah. So you look like Earthward Jim? Uh, uh, kinda, I guess. He was small, though. Well, how big is Earthworm Jim? He's pretty big. He's he's got muscles. He's got fake muscles because it's all the suit. Well, yeah, I mean, but like that, that doesn't tell me the size of. He's uh, he's six foot, six foot ten. Is he actually? I I'm guessing based off the metric system I've seen in the game. 
I, I, I don't have them next to a ruler right now, so I can't tell you. Did you know Earthworm Jim had his own TV show? Did he? Yeah. He's 5'8". Okay, so I was close. So he's taller than me, but barely. And he weighs less than me. <laughs> well, what do you expect? He's an Earthworm. Of course he's going to weigh less than you. That's fair enough. Stupid magnet tool. Sometimes I hate the magnet tool. It works, except when it wants to be annoying. You're making a very snarky Gengar. Thank you. Now that's what it looks like at least. The top of it this... almost looked, it almost looked like you're trying to like put like "Don't bully me, Nagitoro" kind of facial expressions with it. Oh, I love that manga, <laughs> and, and I'm excited for the "Don't toy with me, Nagatoro anime that's coming up. And ooh. yeah, too bad it's never gonna get actually English dubbed. Well, you say that, but who knows? Maybe Funimation or Aniplex or Viz Media or Media Blasters, you know, will pick it up. I doubt it. I'm just saying. What do you mean you doubt it? You I doubt it. You can't doubt it. You gotta, you know, have hope, like Superman. I accept your reality and substitute my own. Let's see, I'm gonna need some skin color here. Take this purple shade, and I'm gonna up the vibrance of that. Just gonna color that. I'm gonna break this, gonna cut that, gonna go underneath the layer, gonna paste that, gonna mask that, and now I'm gonna go underneath that, and I'm gonna add to that. You That's follow? very technical. Uh, it's gonna take longer if I explained it in English. In, in more English English, I mean. Oh, now he's turning purple. That's good. I was waiting for the purple to go in. Yeah, I know. Everyone's always excited for the purple. Did you know, uh, uh, I don't know if you did this with Laura. Uh, I don't know if you did this with any of your characters yet. But in Laura Vicious, did you have any characters with purple in them? Yeah. I got Luna. Well, did you, did you know that uh, purple is usually associated with royalty? Yeah, I heard about that in a video. Mhm. Mm I think we watched the same video then. Was it Sugar Punch? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know was if it, it was about that. the Street Fighter character Fong. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, it was we just watched about... different videos, which is cool. No, I think I think. Um... I think it was this one. I think it was Ras. Put res button. Yeah, the color of corruption is purple. How purple is used in video games. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, because uh, purple is usually only for like royalty, like people with power, and you know, because it, it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a color, it's a combination of two colors, as well as red. Red is a big thing for royalty too. Now, royalty was brought up in the video I watched, but it also discussed how purple. Stuff in nature usually isn't purple, so it's more of a mysterious color. It's more yeah, exactly. It's a combination. Yeah, it's unnatural. Yeah. And that's, and maybe that's one of the reasons why I use it, because I kind of subconsciously gravitate towards purple with a lot of my designs, and I kind of hate myself for it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's it's a calm, cool color. Eh, fair enough. Of I, I love purple. Yeah, purple's great. We love talking about how much we love purple. Now, I mean, we don't we don't talk about it that much. I'm just. What do you mean we don't talk about it that much? We have parties all the time. Remember? A, Remember a the purple, last purple, a purple party, party? we We invited the purple man from from Marvel. Well, I thought you were about to say from Five Nights at Freddy. Oh no! That yeah, that guy came too. Uh, uh he he had to call in though. Yeah. On his weird H hello, phone. hello. Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys having have you guys having a nice party over there? That's how he sounds. Are you guys having a nice party <laughs> over there? Mm. Oh, no. How many children did you invite? Oh. Mm. So uh you got uh Did you get some animatronics? You got some animatronics? Any pizza? Mm. I can bring the pizza. But no, we're good. Go away. 
Why was he purple? Maybe it was a skin condition. What? The purple guy. Why was he purple? A, a, a purple is uh, also could be a, like I said. Purple is associated with like murder. Well, I know. I know the meta reason, but why did he dress in purple? It was probably a purple suit. What a uh, suit? Like like an animatronic suit? No, wasn't it? Well, before he became before he became an animatronic, he was a person, right? Yeah. He probably wore a purple suit. He, he wore a suit, and, and then when he got inside the suit, he was wearing the suit? <laughs> like a business suit, like, you know, with a tie and stuff. Not like an animatronic suit or like, like a party suit. But why purple? You know who else wears purple? You know, you know who else wears a purple suit? Hmm. The Joker. Maybe it was the Joker. That. Well, I guess. Uh, it could be. That's not a but... good topic. <laughs> so back on to the subject that we started with, Gengar. Uh, I'm. I've uh, I've also haven't been very into the Pokemon games. I actually attempted it with Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold, uh, but the problem was we got the games when the batteries were going out. This happens a lot with Game Boy Color games. Uh, I mean, Game Boy games mm -hmm. that save. The battery goes out and you can't save anymore. Like you try to save and then you turn it off and then you turn it back on and the battery's just erased everything. And it sucked. So sadly that thwarted our attempts to get into the games. We eventually sold them. Which is sad, but yeah. don't worry, I have uh, another opportunity to get into Pokemon. And it's not like I don't have my own favorite Pokemon. I can address that in a sec. Just getting all these spikes down. He's a spiky guy, isn't he? Very spiky, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I never fully watched the series of Sonic the Hedgehog, especially like Sonic X. Oh, Sonic X is awesome. Did we just? I've never that fully before? watched it. So, we probably discussed it? it. I've never, I never watched it well, with you. You gotta watch it. It's pretty good. Uh, don't don't watch the videos where they try to slam the series, you know, as something that tries to sell toys or the games, because that's that's not really what it was about. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Dragon Ball in the beginning, and a little later on, because then it becomes new guys get introduced and they have to figure out how to defeat them. But yeah. Uh, that, that's not all the episodes. Technically, there's three seasons, which is weird because there's, like, so many different arcs in each season. Like, there's, there's, like, a robot arc where Cream has to fight her friend who's, like, this orange robot built by Eggman. Then there's, an, there's obviously the Shadow arc where he shows up. Yeah, and, and, you know, he's like, I found you, faker! Yeah. You're not even good enough to be my fake. Let's How see. is he so fast? <laughs> you ever find it weird that Shadow is a hedgehog? Well, wasn't he wasn't he a clone or something? Like he was made in a lab? He was made in a lab, but they never actually said he was a clone. Well, I mean, the hedgehog is the ultimate form. It is. Well, I mean, you know, when Cell said he, it wasn't his final form, it's because he never turned into Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> what? <laughs> is Shadow the Hedgehog is, is his final form? Is Cell's yeah, never... final form specifically, not Frieza? No, I mean, for, well, everyone, anyone that, you know, the final form in any Dragon Ball series is eventually turns to Shadow the Hedgehog. So... You know, go. so go, that's why Goku has black hair. <laughs> That's why Saiyans have black hair. They were all descended from Sonic from Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes. He's the ultimate life form and these are the ultimate Saiyans. Yes. <laughs> the, the next evolution 
right now they got uh they got what's that called the uh automated system the the thing the 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 why am i not thinking of it autonomous i, I don't know auto ultra instinct that's it. Yeah, ultra, the, the ultra next instinct, yeah. form above Ultra Instinct is Shadow the Hedgehog. No, it could go further. Shadow is it the could ultimate, go further. The last form. <laughs> I mean, it, no, it could go further before it gets to Shadow the Hedgehog because Shadow is the ultimate light form. Shadow is. Sh wait, wait. What about Super Shadow? What? Su if, well, su Super Shadow is just the ultimate ultimate light. Form. The ultimate ultimate. So <laughs> it's it, like. It's like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. We're gonna get Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Ultra uh, Master uh, Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct, <laughs> Shad Super Shadow the Hedgehog. And then that's gonna yeah. be, and then it's gonna look like the final arc until the Super Emeralds are revealed. And then yes. the Super Emeralds get fused with the Super Dragon Balls and then become the yes. Super Ultra Mega Emerald Balls. And then it summons <laughs> an Emerald Dragon. And the now drag, you're, but the now you're thinking with portals. It's gonna be clear like chaos from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> yeah, and portals and Shell so shows up in the portal series too. Right. <laughs> because uh, apparently Aperture was involved. They team up with Robotnik all the time. That's why you have so many fancy robots. That's that where the rings don't do come much. from. The rings that teleport you, it's really aperture portals. <laughs> just trying to get the hands looking good i like i like characters that have stubby hands because it's hard to get it wrong it's easy to get it right hard to get it wrong it's it's just the fingers on real people that can be a real pain oh and oh, i i wouldn't know but I imagine hands are pretty complicated. There's always a bunch of people on Twitter like, here's the help with hands, and there's a bunch of like different hand signs, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm interested in making an animation where a character only speaks through sign language. There is actually one, and have you, have, do you have Netflix? I don't know anymore. Um, um, the reason why I asked because there's a character in, uh, it's an it's an animation called the Dragon Prince. Oh yeah, and, I heard about the Dragon Prince. And one of the characters, it's the aunt to the main characters, is mute. She only signs. Well, that's interesting that they made her mute. Which, which yeah. makes no sense because it's like medieval times and and signing wasn't invented until about well, eighteen eighteen seventies. You're right, she really should have just pulled out her phone and used text to speech. Or a pen and paper. Pen and paper wasn't invented yet. Well, something to write on. Blood. Blood. Blood was invented. Blood was invented. Oh, always, always had to be prick her finger. Prick her finger? She's already given her voice, now you want her to give out her blood? Let's give Gengar a big old peace sign. Right there. Now, eh, let's do just some quick shading. We'll just copy the outline of the body, go above, we'll paste that, and we'll paste it again, and we'll distort the bottom, and just, just get a nice sense of, of depth there. We'll... Absolutely. He's very purple now, and I like that. Yeah. Very light purple. Just like the purple guy. So let's take this out. Let's destroy the evidence. And let's change the alpha on this to 40. 40 feels like a good number, right? What? To what? The alpha? Yeah. It's I have no idea what it is. You make you're making an eye of Sauron and I don't and I don't like that. I is you know, I've never watched the Lord of the Rings movies. Neither have I, but I know that I know that character. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I really need to catch up on a lot of things, to be honest. I'm trying to catch up on anime, man. Like, I'm just trying to catch up on the current anime. There's yeah. one that's going around that's called Rent a Girlfriend. That, that looks pretty interesting. It's oh, really yeah, sad. Oh yeah, I saw trailers it... for that. 
Uh, I'm not yeah. really sure what that's about, to be honest, because I first uh, I thought I saw. The I do want to give you want to give you the the idea yeah. of what it's about. I saw one. I saw a trailer with the black haired girl, and she was really cute. But then it said rent a girlfriend. So now I'm thinking, oh wait, is she just putting on an act? Is this not really her? Like I'm confused as to what the series. So is, do you, I haven't watched. I haven't watched it, but I can give you like literally the sn the, the snaps or like the little synopsis of what it's about. Basically, um, I he obviously his his girlfriend breaks up with him and he gets really, really sad. So he finds another girl through this dating i think this app to like rent a girlfriend which is what it's called and then they really hit it off and like she starts liking him even, really even without having him? to pay him yeah really liking him and like uh i know he meets her outside the app and she doesn't look the same she looked kind of nerdy nerdy of course but uh it looks pretty good uh, i, I kind of want to watch it uh there's an one of the one of the ones that I've been watching that's really really funny is called uh, Yuzuki Chan wants to hang out. That one's really really good. It it, give, it gives me like like if um, Nagi Toro uh, was a lot nicer vibes. Hmm. It's pretty good. I might it's check pretty it good. out. One one of the things about that about the please don't bully me Nagatoro manga that I like so much. It's how she's she's so mean, but it's not just to be mean. It's because she's trying to help out this guy and make him less sh less of an introvert, of a shut in, of a guy that keeps himself. She wants him to open up more. And to that's exactly how this yeah. one's about because the main character is a loner and she uh, keeps him company. Okay. So now, yeah, it's it's the same if I premise. Guess, but she came up it's, to him, it's, didn't she? He didn't and, ask and, for help. Yeah, basically, she she she's the one that did that, and like he gets mad at her, and they like bicker at each other a lot. And uh, she is a very short girl with with uh, big bees. It's called short stack, Ethan. Don't worry. Short stack. Yeah. Short oh, stack. Yeah. She's a short stack. Short stacks are cute and good and attractive. I'm not too sure I'm <laughs> happy with this foot. This foot just doesn't look like a foot, you know? Let's see, his feet are stubby, and they got like little dragon-like claws that come out. So, I'm gonna try, try a different idea. Speaking of dragons... What's your favorite dragon? My favorite dragon? Yep. Uh, that's a hard question. Uh, my favorite I, dragon would allow me probably... To allow me to give you some suggestions so I'm not just ca catching you on the spot. Uh, there's Dragon Tails. There is Dragon Ball. That's, that's another obvious one. Uh, there is Dragon Prince. There is Godzilla. If you want to count him as a dragon, there is Charizard. Although he's not technically a dragon type. Uh, what is, is he? I thought he was. No, he's not, huh? No, I think that's like. I think dragon type wasn't even invented until after he existed. So, uh, if no, because dragon, they, had, they had Dragonaut and they had Gyarados, and Gyarados is a dragon. That's kind of weird. Gyarados is a dragon, because. Uh, it's based off of different cultures. I'm pretty sure Gyarados is based off a of Japanese dragon, and Japanese dragons don't always have wings, but they're like a big snake. Yeah, and that's cool. So, and then I think it, m when you get more towards Western culture, it's more winged. Like they'll have wings Isn't that and they'll have European legs. Culture? I think it's Western culture. I don't. It just depends. I think it's from. I think it's from Chinese or Japanese. I think um, Jap Japanese is more like the like the giant snake, could be considered a dragon. Uh, basically, I think it's what's considered a dragon is something that's everlasting and an immortal dragon. So what that's why they're like fire? usually like lizards and stuff. Uh, well, Gyarados doesn't breathe fire. Pretty sure. Okay. And then, and I think in Chinese culture, they make it more like 
the fire breathing type of thing. I'm not sure though. I mean, yeah, I don't know about that. What? So, what's your favorite dragon? Um, Dragon Riot. Dragon Riot. Yeah, it's a manga that I like reading. Okay. So, what's special about <laughs> Dragon Riot? Can you? Uh, it's basically uh, this this guy. He learns uh. I think it's called like the dragon art style and like he is deathly well not deathly wait actually is, de is he deathly afraid of women to the point that he can die oh yeah because his heart yeah his heart gives out if he's near women for too long that one's pretty funny and um he does like ridiculous things like he'll like push his his, his hand out and it, and it could like freeze pools I, I think he did that as a joke once, or or like he'll clap and like the the, the air concussion of the air, like he do, it does weird sh it does weird stuff. Sounds interesting. Saying it's a manga, huh? It is a manga. Might be hard for me to check out. Well, I, I'm pretty sure there's no anime for it. Yeah, I'm an anime man. I prefer to watch anime and not just. Not just any anime, but anime that's been dubbed into English. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know you're picky about it. I'm, I know. It's you sad know. that it looks like I it got dropped, though. So I, yeah, you know that, but they don't. What? We mean what? The people watching. What the whole like the whole you not watching any sub anime? Yes, sure. Well, it's not that I won't watch subbed anime. I will watch subbed anime if it's the only option. Uh, that's how I went through Kill a Kill, but then when the English dub came out, I pretty much said, okay, I don't have to watch this anymore. How, how, long, how long did it take for the sub to come out, or the dub to come out for Kill a Kill? Uh, I can actually figure that out. Um, and by the way, uh, Rob Loud, I agree, English dub is kind of boring. Sometimes. Mm. Does he mean all English dubs or like specific shows? I think he's. I think he's saying specific shows. Oh, then he then he takes it back, saying Persona Five and for the best English dub. I think a gr a great English dub is one that gets different feelings for me. So for me specifically, I would have to feel. I would have to feel like. Uh, it was hilarious. I have to feel like the characters mean what they say, so it's endearing. I have to feel like characters are angry, and I have to feel like characters mean what they say. And and of course, you always want some romance, and you want the characters to, you know, feel like they actually care for one another. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I guess Bobo 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 Bobo. That has the best English dub. I like. I love Bobo 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 Bobo. Me too. That's a good one. That is a good. That is a good anime. I have. I have to watch it again. To be honest, I really should get back into it. To bet. To bet they didn't. They didn't dub. They didn't dub it fully or sub it fully either because uh, the, the manga goes way farther than, I'm, than I remember. It does. Than the. Because like, I hate how yeah, the anime sure. ends on that stupid cliffhanger. The yeah, anime. I don't know. I don't remember what. I don't remember how it ended either. So. I don't remember even fully watching bo 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 Okay, well, first off, let me say, this character, I think I'm gonna be pretty good with him. I think he looks pretty good right now. This is Gengar. If, yeah, if you if you if you like weird stuff, you should watch uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's a pretty weird one. I might. Uh. uh... I don't know. It's kind of the art style is not exactly my cup of tea. It's not as appealing. Oh, well, it's kind of funny because like when they do fighting sequences, it changes the background color. That sounds pretty interesting. So yeah, sometimes like instead of instead of like there's a character that has green hair, but with certain lighting, it makes his hair look yellow because he's in a battle. So pretty good. By the way, I think he finishes Gengar. That's actually pretty good. It, your Gengar is very fabulous, it looks like. Thank you. Uh, it's just something I whipped up. Now, let's see what else I have to work with. 
yes, these are all the characters that have been suggested that I've decided to work on. Uh, I hope to get through all of them, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe if I can't get through it next this time, I can do another stream tomorrow and we can continue there. Uh, I guess I'll go with this character here. Um, I'm drawing these in my own style, so I'm going to take some liberties with them. Now, a human character might be a bit more complex, because i got to draw the head specifically. Mm-hmm. So, Ethan, what do you think this character is? Like, well, which which one are you pointing at? That one? The one? Um, uh, it, I honestly could not tell you. I, I just don't... Just give me obvi what personality you think he has. Uh... Prob with the hair, it's probably a certain character in a certain anime. <laughs> You're not helping here. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll take the helm here. Okay, this kid has pretty ragged hair, right? Why am I drawing? Why am I drawing right on top? That's not how I do things. You go to the side where you belong. Anyway, I think this character. He looks. He looks very shy. He's looking to the side. One moment. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna say something. Hey, Ninja Blade, play. Um, if you keep doing that, I will block you. Right now, I put you in timeout. I will block you. Okay, you done? Yeah, sorry. Can I continue with my personality analysis? Yes, do your personality. He, very, he seems very shy. He's very shy, so I'm gonna draw him looking down. Maybe to the side, just like, it's gonna give him some, like, unsure eyes. Like Who that. submitted this character? Uh, sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure that out. I guess I could take a look real quick. Uh, let's see here. Who do we have? Uh, ooh, we got more characters submitted. Uh, thank you, Gabby and Schizophrenia. Uh, I'll... Take a look at your character. And uh, let's see. Are you ready? Uh, can you draw a water bottle as a waifu? Um, not in this lifetime, uh, but in another lifetime I did, and it didn't turn out too well. So I, I'm sorry, but Water Chan has, uh, has not entered the chat. Where is it? Just trying to find it. Uh, why'd you have to ask me? I'm sorry, it's just, uh... Tac Tagit. There you are, Tac Tagic. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but thank you for submitting this character. Let's see if I can get this character to look, you know, pretty good. Okay, so he's gonna be looking down to the side. And, uh, let's see. Let's give him... I just, like a I just sent you a photo as well. Maybe you can improve upon it later. You'll see. Okay. Now let's see. <laughs> we'll put the nose there. He's unsure. And then let's create a new layer to create the hair. Now the hair, let's see. I'm going to focus on specific areas that stand out. Like this piece with the divided hair. Uh, I guess I would call it a hair trough. And this and this. Uh. Excuse me. And this. Basically, I'm gonna make these the the bangs, and I'm gonna make this the back of the head, if that makes sense. So let's let's try that out. So I'm gonna have it come down a sec. Now you gotta leave room for the forehead. He's gonna have a brain, right? Right, Ethan? Uh yeah right, I'm looking at I'm sorry I'm looking at, I'm looking at Dasani, Chan now, and I'm sending you images so you can like maybe improve on them. <laughs> Since you said you didn't want to do it, I'm gonna give you some references. <laughs> okay, well I'll take a look at those in a sec. <laughs> hair pieces here. Let's make that hair come out just like like a buzz saw let's see 
might, might adjust this here a bit. So I imagine this boy is pretty shy. He doesn't talk too much. And he's got this weird haircut. So I imagine this is a world where weird hairstyles are fairly common. And not just common, but this boy seems to have a tail, but he has no ears. So maybe, just maybe, this boy is not a furry, but he's just a weirdo kid. That might not be what the creator intended. I'm sorry if it's not, but that's what I'm getting from the drawing. That's what I'm getting. I mean, from it's the game. it's better than what I would have said. Uh, what would you have said? I, what, it's not nothing appropriate. <laughs> right. Now. I mean, I mean, this is this channel is not labeled for kids, right? I mean, I have some content that you know I don't mind kids watching. It's just YouTube doesn't. YouTube restricts what people who make stuff for kids can do okay so I, I will be saying that he's wearing a butt plug tail whoa dude <laughs> dude no 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 <laughs> hey i said it wasn't bad but you're just like no it's good <laughs> yeah, yeah but you should know there's a limit oh uh, that was not too bad okay i'm not too sure about the hair right now i think it should be rounder Okay, uh, Mr. Ninja, you're gonna get banned. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, Mr. Ninja. He he kept he kept spamming. Please don't spam. No, he's spamming something that uh I won't say it is, but you can probably see it. Now, this kid also has this back of the hair piece, which. I think can also be enhanced to help the character silhouette. So for example, just make that bigger. It's not that big. Just do that. I wonder what he's so sad about. Maybe he got a bad haircut or maybe his maybe he got a bad grade on a school project and he's really afraid to take a class. Next. Maybe he got maybe he got dumped by the girl he liked. Well, that depends. How old do you maybe, think he is? Maybe 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 he didn't maybe she didn't like his tail. Yeah, she didn't like my tail. He was chasing tail and didn't get any tail. Yes, he's just in search of more tail. He's is that so wrong? Now, I'm gonna make the hair come down, and next. Don't forget the ear. The ear is always important. And I always do details differently with every with every drawing, just to try and make them more unique. So are these gonna be just quick sketches? Or are you gonna like detail them more later on? Or are you just gonna make like um, quick- uh... Whatever I finish in the stream will pretty much be the final product. I might tweak it a little, but I, I'm sorry I don't intend on making full realized renditions. Uh, it's just not, I, I work, it takes me hours to do that and I'm sorry, I got stuff to do. Uh, I mean, I haven't even been able to watch any anime because I've been working so hard. So, oh, I know. Uh, I'm just going to do what I can though, make what, what I can look good. So let's see, I think I got the hair pretty good. I'm gonna save and let's see. First, I'll get the body out. What, what kind of pose would we be in? Uh, just a quick just a quick reminder everyone, I am watching the chat, so please behave. If you spam, I will put you in timeout. Hey Ethan, don't forget to read the chat and actually, you know, engage. Like let me take a look. Oh, I mean I I mean I am reading it, but I mean like I you're you I mean for the most part you already chose what you're gonna be drawing correct so i mean we already took our suggestions well yeah but we can also get suggestions on how to improve it or i can oh uh, well for the most part no one's talking about that well that's fine but still look out for it let's see okay well Well, uh, if you want, guys, you can you can ask or you can put suggestions in the chat to see what we can improve on this character. Maybe give some um, ideas of what how you characters would how this character would be represented. 
Now I'm just roughing everything out. This isn't final. So let's see. He's gonna have a hoodie. And let's see. It doesn't. That looks more. That more. That looks make them more look like a kimono, like not a kimono, like a gecko. What is it? Not a gecko, but it makes his jacket look like a flare jacket instead of like a regular, like, like a hoodie. Okay. Unless it's his hair that's on that's on the bottom. No, makes yeah, it... that's that's his back, the back of his hair. Oh, okay. So let's see. The then he just made his hair a lot more pronounced. In, than in the original sketch. Maybe, let's see, I'm just trying to figure out the art style. Because I, cause maybe I, I should go more cartoony with this guy. Uh, Some people are saying if it is a fox, maybe you should put ears on him. Uh, Maybe, but ears weren't presented here, so I'm not quite sure if I should. <laughs> then, then I ask. Then I have. Then I can I make a comment. Then why you say what we could approve on if you're not going to be adding? Uh, okay, like, fine. Like you that. got me. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, now, well, well, how about this? We don't have the bottom half of this character. You think he's wearing shorts? You think he's wearing pants? Does he got how, a how, how about this for a suggestion? Make the um, the ears like a headband, like one of those like. Okay, I'll take that suggestion. Let's go back. No, up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That, no yeah, worries. that's. No, you demanded it, so I'll, I'll add it. I didn't demand it. I, someone else in the in the chat demanded it. Okay. Uh, it was uh, Gabby is or Gabby is depression. Thank you, Gabby is depression. We'll we'll work on that, or I'll work on that. I keep saying we like as if you're helping me. <laughs> I am helping you. I'm giving you great commentary. Of like how this tale could have been implemented into this character's body. Maybe I can put a <laughs> swirl just to make it more interesting. Or it could be a wolf, but I think wolves are kind of similar ear styles to a fox. I'm just gonna put some hair on there. Oh. Excuse me. Next up, we gotta get back to the lower torso. So let's see here. Let's get his uh, whole waist area taken care oh, of. Oh, and just to remind everyone, um, to make suggestions, you have to be a subscriber and you have to have the notification bell on. Yes, notification is very important. It lets you know when my videos are coming out. And I took a look at my analytics and turns out many of you subscribers did not click the notification bell. But to be fair, the notification bell did happen after I got most of my subscribers, so it's a little unfair. <laughs> Fair enough. But still, you gotta do it. I don't know what the point of that bell is, to be honest. So let's see. Maybe he's wearing boots. Let's give him boots. Let's give him boots. Yeah. Not the how, like, but, but like, how 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 long of boots do you want? Do you like? Do you want like thigh high boots? I want it so that his kneecap is above them. Now let's see here. Just trying to... Sometimes it's hard to draw shoes. I guess that could work. You want his kneecap to be up right up there? That's, uh, that's a pretty, pretty uh, tall boot. Yeah, it helps define the character. And speaking of define, he needs that big bushy tail. Now, if it's an accessory, it's probably just going to hang down for the most part. But we still want it to just come out. Just like that. And do we now? Yes. And of course, it's got that pattern on there. So we're going to do a quick drawing of that. So we got that going. And maybe we can work on the pupils a bit more. Just give him like some vertical pupils, like that. Now, now that that's done, let's improve the clothing some more. Let's see. Um, hmm. Definitely want a black and white color scheme, but I don't want. I don't. I don't know about this portion though. 
because <laughs> I want it black and white. I, I feel aren't foxtails way bushier? Well, I I thought he was a skunk. He's black and white. Is he a skunk? Is he a skunk? That's what I'm going with. Even at that. Oh, is he black and white? Oh, okay. His tail looks really you? poopy. So. No, no. I was just. I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought he was a fox character. You wanted I thought bushier, that's what the whole point huh? of it was. You like? No, I thought he was like a fox. You said he's a skunk. I, I if he's it. a skunk, he's a skunk. Okay. May. Oh, maybe that's why he's embarrassed. He he like just let out a, a really bad one. It's like. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. It's just, it, the tail is so high because he actually lifted it up. Yeah. It, <laughs> but it's a fake tail, and then it moves. What it moves whenever he farts. Well, I and mean, I wonder you know why it wouldn't move. <laughs> it's like, yo, why'd you do that? <laughs> if you go by my suggestion, it it wouldn't be really much of a wonder why it moved if he farted. So let's see. Let's give him a man skirt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> as, he, played, as he ignores that comment. <laughs> if you ever played Legend of Zelda, you know what a man skirt is. It's kind of mean... like a shirt, except you got a belt around it. So that makes him cool, and that means he's not a dork for wearing a. Skirt. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean just like Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild? No, no, that's not a Zelda game. <laughs> and, and we already discussed this in that one video, so we don't need to now. No, we didn't discuss it at all. We discussed it enough. No, you didn't. No, we did. We didn't discuss it at all. Well, do you want to clarify what we discussed? <laughs> it didn't. We didn't discuss it at all. I'm about to. Okay, so that's the character we got so far or that I got. Uh, maybe I'll improve the shoe just a bit. You need to color him. Of course I need to color him. Uh, I don't want it to be too complex, so I'll just put like a simple belt around the, the shoe. And what year does this kid live in? I mean, he has a jacket on, so... He has a jacket with a hoodie, and for some reason that always, make, that always dates the character to the present time. or the Typically, age. I would say. Yep. So I guess he's he's now. Maybe he's an otaku. Maybe he's just really into you know all this furry stuff, and nothing wrong with that. You know, I knew I had some friends who were like that in high school. Um, I have I have a manager who's like that. Yeah, you know they exist and they're they're great people. Uh, he's just really embarrassed because he's like, I just found out about this anime stuff and, and it's just really cool and, and I, I just, you know, want to. Have you guys heard about Sonic the Hedgehog? Have it's you guys heard, a really heard good... about Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's only saying that because he thinks that's what everyone would know about. It's like, yeah, he's the blue guy that runs around. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. You know, I, I, I'm really into the, the anime Sonic X. He's like, oh, really? You know, I like Sonic X, too. I watch it in the mornings. And <laughs> that's how he makes a new friend. So, with the sketch pretty much done, I'm going to try and work on the... a better rendition. I think I got some time. First thing I have to work on is the head. Now, how I normally do it with heads can differ between characters. But for this one, I'm going to go with the three circle approach where I create three circles. Uh, I'd use one for the main head. And then I use the other two for the cheeks. Okay. I'm actually going to get something to drink while you're doing this then. Can you get me something too? What do you want, babe? Um, let me get like a like a, a lemon water with a twist. Got and you. A serve it in one of those big margarita drinks with uh, just just half full of ice, uh, preferably. And uh, can you also give me some popcorn? Wait, Dad got KFC. He's not here right now. Now we get to talk about things he wouldn't want to talk about. What? Like My Little Pony. Ethan's favorite show is My Little Pony. He watches it a lot, and sometimes it does get pretty annoying, but I don't judge because, you know, him being a brony is 
is okay. You know, I, it, it's fun being a super fan. I mean, I'm a big super fan of Ed and Eddie, so I'm not going to judge. I, and Big Jim from Ed and Eddie worked on My Little Pony, so it's like, it's like, who cares? We we have that in common. We and My Little Pony's pretty good, honestly. If you ask me, it's got some good songs and. It, it's it's a good way to do a reboot. Um, if I had to choose a favorite character for My Little Pony, I think Derpy Hoos would be it. But I think that's because she's so simple. She's just she's mostly a background character, and she's just really really funny. Uh, Coconut Ocean. I need me some Terry Bogard. Uh, I'm not gonna draw some Terry Bogard, but Ter Terry's pretty cool. Honestly, I like him. Uh, I was happy he was in Smash. That surprised me. I didn't think I didn't think King of Fighters was that popular in Fatal Fury, but it, apparently it is. I guess if Ken got in, you know, lots of fighting game characters can do it. I wouldn't be surprised if Jin from Tekken makes an appearance somehow. You know what did surprise me in a fighting game? When they introduced Negan into that Tekken game. Negan is a character from the American AMC show Walking Dead. I'm sure lots of people have heard of it. It's fairly popular. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've seen a video about Negan's inclusion in Tekken. And that is very surprising. And I haven't played Tekken all that much. And I haven't seen Walking Dead. But... I look at these and I think they don't mix. Negan is way too realistic and Jin is more anime like. And stacking those two together even in a fight is kind of odd. Besides, uh. Negan's about killing people, not about just battling them. So, yeah. So, when Ethan gets back, we'll talk more about his favorite show. Um, yeah, I'm right here. Okay, so who's your favorite character? Favorite character of what? In My Little Pony, your favorite show. Um, Rainbow Dash. I like her punk attitude. I like girls with short hair. Uh, I think me and her could get along really well. Yeah, Rainbow Dash is all right. If if I had to choose one of the plus main she can six, plus she could defeat Starscream, so she has to be a good character. Star Transformers. You know, I didn't grow up with the original Transformers show that everyone loves to talk about. I don't I think I did either. I think I we, did Energon. We both um, watched Transformers Armada, didn't we? Is that the one with the little robots? Yeah, that's the one with the little robots. I remember watching that one the most. I didn't know what it was called for a long time until I searched up, you know, like Transformers, little robots, and in disguise. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's what it came from. I really gotta watch that again. I, I remember really loving that anime. There's one like called like Cyber Beast or Beast Wars. Beast Wars, I think it was. Was yeah. that the C the weird CGI one? Was that the one? It, I mean, Beast actually... Wars is a weird CGI uh, version. Uh, for some reason, though, I hear that it was pretty good. It's just the animation was kind of laughable. It's kind of like reboot. Rescue bots, robots in the skies. That was the that was the one that was in 2015. There's a 1984 one. Hey, uh, Cyber Force is 2018. You, you keep talking about Transformers. I'm going to come back with a drink. Transformers Anime 2007. Beast Wars 1996. Ooh, that was when I was born. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's the movie. Oh, Transformer Prime? What? That's not a movie? Okay. Beast Machines. Cybertron. Okay, Cybertron was one. Armada. Only one season? What? I thought it was way longer. Uh, Energon is one of them. Okay. I knew there. I knew Energon was one of them. There's a lot of Transformer movies though, or uh, shows. It is pretty weird though. Transformer was a 
What's Cyber for Cyberverse about? That's weird. What did they do to my map, Bumblebee? What did they do to Bumblebee? What's you looking at? I'm looking at Transformers Cyber Force, which is the 2018. I would say probably the most current Transformers. It's only two years old. You know, Rooster Teeth was supposed to make a Transformers show. I'm not sure no if way. that happened. I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. Rooster Teeth used to be really big, especially since they were an indie, you know, company making their own shows that got pretty popular. But I think mm -hmm. they're part of Warner Brothers now. Warner Brothers bought them, so now they're no no longer indie. So, what? I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen or watched an anime called Monster Misumi? I have that. And I got it signed by Brittany Karbowski. Very nice lady, very nice voice actress. Hope to work with her one day. Who's the one? Who's she voice? Who's she voice? I th oh jeez. Uh you're quizzing me on an anime I haven't looked at. Uh but if I had to guess, it was the Harpies. Is, is she Mia? I think it was the the Harpies. Oh, she played Poppy. Poppy? Yeah, that's her name. Harpy the Poppy. Or Poppy the Harpy. Poppy. That's another word for dad, which is weird for me because it's like that's like a guy's name, but it's not that bad. I, I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. I mean, I've been, I, I've been, uh, I, I've seen that, I've seen that anime. It's been so long, but um, uh, what do you think? I liked it. It, it was pretty weird. It was pretty weird. <laughs> Have you seen this one anime that I told you about called Chimoneta? Oh no, I forgot about that. No, I, I forgot what the name Dude, was. Dude, you I gotta to watch it. that. That is hilarious, and it is really sexy, but it's also funny. It's it doesn't now it, it actually doesn't go too far over the line. You you need uh, to send me the the name because I will forget the name. <laughs> it's it's much longer. the The translation is longer in English apparently. But the English translation is a world where dirty jokes don't exist. But yeah, Shimonetta is is funny. Uh, like the title explains, Japan they outlawed dirty jokes, and now even saying a curse word will get you arrested. Oh, okay, I know exactly. It's with the silver hair girl, right? Yeah, the, the one that's crazy. I need. I definitely need to watch it then. I definitely yeah, she's, need to watch it. She's also voiced by the girl who does uh, stocking from Panning and Stocking. And okay. her best friend is voiced by the girl who does Panny. If uh, you're hmm. a big Panning and Stocking fan. I never, I never watched it, but I do know. Are you talking about the English or the or the, or the, Jeff, or the English. sub? English. Hmm. You know I'm an English dude. Yeah, well, I was just wondering if, if I don't know if it was in English or not. Yeah, you got something against English, huh? You, you um, hate English? No. You hate my language? Go, go back to China. I speak it. Go back to China, you sub lover. I, go I back to don't Japan. know where this is coming from. I'm sorry. I've got a lot of pent up aggression, and I, I took it out on you. I'm. I apologize. <clears throat> That's another good one. Is it bad to pick up those? Someone just commented. Maybe I should check that one out, but I'm not too sure I'm going to like it. Because I think it's one of those anime where the guy is from one world and wakes up in another. Oh, no, he's not. That's, oh, that's not? No, it, it's not. It's not an easy guy. Okay, well, then maybe I'll, I'll enjoy it. I'll, I'll have to check that out when I get the time. But yeah, it's not I an easy guy. I, am. I don't want to dwell on that too much. And they do have English. Let's see. Now he just needs an eyebrow. Now we're going to connect the eyebrow to the eye. To show how far down it's gone. Because it was, if it was further up, he'd look less sad and just more like... 
really that that's what's going on but if it's like connected he's like oh no things are not going my way just going to connect that more and we gotta make sure it's on the one side of his head and lastly let's delete this and this so we just end up with that uh, I'm not too happy with this side <laughs> Mm. I'm, I've noticed I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my drawing. I... Oh, oh, that that one's actually a bad anime. That's a, actually not, that one's a perverted anime, isn't it? What are you talking about? Uh, there's a guy called Coconut Ocean. Anyone on Interspecies Reviewer? I pretty sure, know. pretty sure that one is. Um, is that like that an was, adult? That you know, show because I don't watch. Um, shows. I don't think it is, but it's borderline, and I mean borderline. Right. Well, if it is, let's not talk about it here. Oh no, no, no! I'm not. I'm just seeing. Yeah. I got okay. canceled. That sucks. Let's okay. See. We're gonna add some white to this. Yeah, since you've been you, have, you haven't been keeping up with anime at all, you've been you, you, you know, I need to catch up too. So we're both gonna be playing some catch up game on the new anime playing around. Well, maybe we can join each other. I'll, I've got a bunch of anime on my shelf, you know that I have to watch. So maybe you know we can just join each other for popcorn night and anime. <laughs> we did watch that one anime together for the most part. The one with that the was oh, what was it? Bludgeoning Ang Angel. Oh yeah, I already finished that one though. How was that? I liked it. You did? Yeah, I think I've seen it twice already. I thought that was really... I don't know. Because it's got like the dark comedy. It's funny in certain parts. But it's just kind of mean-spirited. Because if, if you don't know what Bludgeoning Angel is about, basically there's this teenage guy and he's got this uh, blue-haired cute girl that's an angel apparently and she is living with him trying to help him through life but there are many moments where she takes a giant giant bludgeoning device it, it's a it's a spike with, club it's a spike so it's like club, a it's yeah. spike like and just crazy. like wax him until he's dead until he's a bloody pulp and they show you all the gory bits and it's just ugh. and it's so good i love really it that into the, the gory but it's honestly not that bad. It's not the not, worst. Not I've ever it's like seen. a horror movie. But but yeah, it just out of taste for me. Cause like, <laughs> it's just it's just so out of left field. I love it. I love I love comedy like that where it's just so out of left field. You're just like, okay, well now we're here. <laughs> it's not. It's like it's not just out of the field, but it's out of like the graveyard because it makes them dead. And, well, yeah, but, but of I'm course, just, of just... course, how can she do this so often? Well, it's because she brings him back to life right after. It's so funny. I don't know about funny. Love it's it. it's kind of sad. They stop subbing it though. They stop. They stop uh, translating it though on the manga series. That sucks. You keep up with the manga. Well, uh, it, well obviously I if I can this, read it, I you mean, know, I kind of hate I, to I, admit this. They're only. But, I, I'm looking at I'm looking at a website and it is only translated oh. to this uh, the tenth chapter and it's been updated since four years ago. Okay. So it died. That's sad. Well, unless I unless died. unless I could find like the actual manga itself. You know, there's a manga that I wish was translated or at the least was. Yeah, well, yeah, translated. I don't know if it's online, but it's called Unbreakable Machine Doll. That oh, I know a, exactly. It, it is, and it is. There's a manga of it. I'm pretty. There sure. is a manga, but I've yet to find any English translations of it because I want to know what happens next. I saw uh, the anime, and it was really freaking good. I I you watched sure? it twice. Yeah. The Are you sure that's not? Because I, if I find it, I'm gonna keep if your you butt. If you find it, send it to me because I could not find it. Send it to me. I don't care if, I I, if, if I'm wrong, then I'll take being wrong. 
Because I want oh, there to be more. I already found it. Are you sure you found it subbed in English I'm, and it's the first Unbreakable. Uh, unbreakable. And what chapter did you read last time? I didn't get to read it at all. Oh, I, there's there's 51.5 chapters, so it might be completed already. Um, well, the anime ends off with... Um, wait, what do they do? I don't remember. There's a wolf. And like... Oh, it looks like it's kind of hard to. Looks like it is. Looks like it's abandoned. You know. Uh, so uh, there's, there's a comment saying before you read it, for you guys who already watched the anime, you can choose the option to read it again or skip or or skip it because the base story is changed a little, but the concept's still the same. Wait, you're talking about Unbreakable Machine Doll? Yeah. Uh, Marcel Baudaz. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Do you guys watch Attack on Titan? Mm, I've, I've seen, seen a few episodes, but I haven't. I've haven't seen played. one season. Okay, how's the one season? Uh, I don't remember much of it, to be honest. It's been a while. Did you like the characters? Did you think they were annoying? Did you I I know I I like the characters so much that when I thought one of them died, well, and, and and a lot of them do die in the series. I'm just gonna say. Um, I was really upset. I was just like, how could they kill him like that? But then he, it was like near like fourth or third episode. I'm just like, I'm wait, done with this. And wait. then it came back. Is it the episode? I'm not going to say who, but I did see an episode where a guy was like freaking roasted by a, a Titan. Is that the one? No, no, he was Ian. Okay. Then, then we're talking about different things. Yeah. Now, I know everyone uh, likes this one guy. And I haven't what, seen Aaron? what happens next, but yeah. there's this one guy that dies, you know, by getting roasted by the Titan, and uh, it's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What? I want, oh, one moment. I want to go to the bathroom, man. That's fine. So right now I'm just working on the eyes, just trying to add a little shading in there. No idea if I'm going to stick with this eye color. But I'll do what I can. Let's see. Let's, uh... What the heck did I paint? What is this thing? Oh, right. No, I know what that is. For the most part. I'll just... Copy that over. Make that black. Get an alpha of 25. Come back to this here. And combine object, then fill object, and show object, and then we'll mask it all. See how that turned out. Hang on, something's not right here. Something's not right here. What the frig? Okay, so this. This is in the right spot, and it's masking over that. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here, to be honest. Maybe if I exit and enter, there's got to be, there's got to be an explanation. Well, uh, while I try to th mull that over in my noggin, I'm going to work on this other eye because I'm not too happy with that one. I'm just going to go over here and drag that up and over here. And that will come up with that. Let's see. Hey, Jeffrey Kabadaja. I'm sorry, I, I, I know I mispronounced that. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm watching anime whilst I'm watching your stream. That's how much I love your videos. Hey, thanks. Um, it's really great. I'm glad you're here. So, let's see. If I have to talk about an anime I have seen fully that I really like, 
Let's see. Uh, hmm. Now, it's not really... I haven't seen it fully, but I have seen the English dub, but Case Closed. That was a really good anime. And I am very, very sad that they didn't get to all the later episodes, because... Looked like... Oh! Oh, here's the problem. It's too big! Let's just shrink that, baby. And we'll transform that, and we'll drag that, and we'll smooth that. Well, not really smooth that, just... Uh, and then we'll, we'll smooth that a bit. But yeah, Case Closed. Case Closed was a really good anime. Uh, very mysterious. Uh, but it was an anime that I just gave up on. Uh, there's... I, I love... I love it when anime has some romance in there. I think lots of people do. And if you know me with the videos that I'm currently known for, which um, I don't just make romance videos, but I I do like romance. And I do like putting romance in some of my work. But in case closed, I don't think they did romance the right way. It's not that I don't think Jimmy and Rachel, and yes, I'm saying Jimmy and Rachel, love each other it's just i don't feel like this is realistic because jimmy is in the body of a little kid and that little kid lives with his crush and tries to make it seem like he's not her crush and i don't buy that he could keep that up for so long i i, I just think he should have told her hey uh rachel my name's jimmy because otherwise, it makes it look like Jimmy's just been out of this relationship for years. And and he still expects her to sit there and wait for him. And, like, I understand a girl who's in love will wait for a man for years. But it's just, in today's times, I don't buy that would happen. Like, and also, he doesn't even show up physically all that often. I mean, obviously he can't because, you know, he's got the whole child body situation going on. But still, if, if he told Rachel that he was Jimmy from the start, he wouldn't have to worry about that. And heck, Rachel could actually help out. Okay, this eye is just way too long. Don't worry, I'll fix that out. I'll figure that out. But yeah, so that was a relationship I gave up on, and then in recent years, it has come to my attention that in the Japanese anime Detective Conan, which is what Case Closed pretty much is, Rachel and Jimmy, or Shinichi and Ran, finally come together for Ran to kiss him on the cheek. Woo! I'm, I'm sorry, I, I overreacted there. I apologize. I got excited. But... Um, yeah, that's, that wasn't very satisfactory for someone like me who has waited mm, uh, about 10 years. Because I, I remember watching Case Closed when I was on Adult Swim. And even as a kid, I, I really loved it. Even though I just thought to myself, I'm not supposed to watch this. It, it, people are dying in this show. But, but it's so good. It's like... It, it, Anyone else is like that, where you're watching a show and you don't think you're supposed to be watching it? So, yeah. There are relationships in anime that I feel are fantastic. One of them at the top of my head would be... Uh, for many Yasha, I think Kagome and Inuyasha have a good one, but Moroku and Sango, it's a bit better. I do feel like they have a thing for each other, and I feel like Moroku's just hilarious. Where the heck is this one from? Why the heck is this one there? So I'll take these. And I gotta drag them. Reveal the head. Maybe that's good enough. Excuse me. Inuyasha is one of my. It's pretty much my favorite anime, to be honest. I had to really think about it because Inuyasha. Because for me, my favorite anime would be one that's complete, has good characters, good designs, 
Uh, a bit of fan service is always a plus. Action is also a plus. And gotta have some romance. And Inuyasha just ticked off all those boxes. It's finished. It's got some good likable characters. Good action. It's got some fan service moments. Not a whole lot. It's pretty reserved, but there there are scenes you know that happen. And uh, it's got more than one couple, you know, for you to root for. So I'd say Inuyasha is my favorite anime. Feel like it's a good pick. Uh, I don't feel like it needs a reboot or anything because it's it's told its story, did it well, and I don't feel like it needs continuation either. It just sort of happened. I'm glad it happened, and uh, we can move on. Let's see. I think that's looking good. Let me flip this so I can draw it better. gotta get this eye going gonna draw it just about like there now how does that look no I'm gonna drag this out further <clears throat> so as many people know, I have the Laura Vicious shorts that are going to be premiering this month. Um, the rest of this month and the tail end and the beginning of next month. These shorts uh, will continue the stories of Laura Vicious. You'll get to see more of her character. And there's an advertisement in each of them for the Laura Vicious plush, limited edition from Makeshift.com. That plush won't be available forever. And I would appreciate anyone who pre-orders it. Um, use the code YOW15, that's Y-O-W-W-1-5, -W for 15% off your entire purchase. I uh, gotta make sure others know about that. It's very important to me because I worked very hard on that. I worked very hard in these videos. And I am trying my best to make sure my characters uh, get the love and attention that I feel they deserve. Let's see what else we got here. Let's check out the chat. Why not? Let's see. Uh, a follow goo. I'm drawing an island made of candy. You wouldn't happen to be drawing Candy Island from The Misadventures of Flapjack, would you? That was actually a good cartoon. Uh, surprising. I think the creator, uh, Orp Van Thorman. Or is it Third Band Orman? I always get his name wrong, but I think the creator actually tried to live on his own on an island once, which is kind of a unique story. So that's one way to get your ideas for cartoons. I would just watch shows. Alphalogu. Does anyone remember Hi Hi Puffy on Yumi? Heck yeah, that was a great, that was a great cartoon. I really, I really love that show. I, I hesitated because I considered, is that an anime? Cause, but no, it's not an anime because it's more goofy, it's less dynamic, and it just has much more in common with traditional cartoons. But it's definitely really good. And I actually met the voice actress for Yumi at a convention, and she was just so nice. Uh, she, she's really great. Great Delisle. Uh... Yeah, she also voices Mandy from Billy and Mandy and Elizabeth and Ma Emily Elizabeth from Clifford the Big Red Dog. Which is weird. She plays uh, both really nice characters and really cynical characters. I'm sure these days, because Avatar The Last Airbender has, for some reason, got more popularity, she's getting more known for Azula, which is odd. <laughs> Alphogu, hey. it's Thromp Van Orman. Wow, thanks. I didn't know it was Thromp. Um, Prop Hunter. Hey, I'm back. Hey, you missed the whole conversation about Case Closed, Inuyasha, and um, Orp Van Thorman. Orp Van Thorn? I never heard that one. I do know of Inuyasha, though. Inuyasha was. I never finished it. 
They they finished the where they did a final act, and I just never I never seen the rest of the series. Oh, you got it. That's a good. That's a good uh, season, I guess. There's, mm-hmm. there's like one episode in that season that's really filler, which surprised me because I thought they were just gonna finish the story. Uh, Zen Zenshin but, Rio, Kristen loves Generator X. Yeah, Generator. I haven't seen all the episodes, but I have seen like the ending. The reason I didn't see all the episodes was because I was lazy. And the ending was really good. I gotta watch that again. It's really hard to come by on DVD though. So that's uh Is it? Yeah, it's it's got the the DV, it's got three DVDs and the first one's pretty common. The next two are pretty rare. And it's gonna be hard to find those. I know there's an Italian one on eBay. Uh last time I checked. But that's in Italian, not to not in English, as far to my knowledge goes. So, have you not like, checked Amazon? Do me any good? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I didn't find any though. Uh, I mean, I think it's got it listed, but it doesn't actually have it. Oh, oh, I was I just remembered something. You know, the San Diego Comic Con happened, right? So you cannot buy, you can't buy the DVD, but you can buy the yeah. actual like seasons on pr- Prime Video. Yeah, but I don't really own it if I get it online. I need to hold, hold. Well, if, if you want to, if you want to watch it. Oh, actually, I found, oh, never mind. It's Spain import, importation. So it probably won't play in English. Maybe. Maybe it'll come to Netflix. I doubt it. So wait, you watch it on Netflix, but you won't watch it on like Prime Video or like like if you buy it well, and then download it. Well, if I have it? Prime Video, I'll watch it on Prime Video. But I don't have Prime Video, so I'd rather just get it on DVD. I think it's just I think it's just a free app. You, you you just it's what you watch stuff on. If you buy it, you can just watch it on that specific like thing. I think we yeah. had Prime Video before, but for some reason we don't have it now. Well, you, you don't need to buy it. Like, I, I, if I buy this, I can, I can watch it whenever I want. Yeah, but you still, you don't own it though. I own it. No. What happens if the internet goes down? <laughs> I guess that's fair. I guess. Yeah. I mean, nowadays with the with uh, COVID nineteen and the pandemic. Uh, you gotta be careful with these streams, because if you mention the other word, you know, you could get, um, flagged by the YouTube algorithm. But, uh, or so I've heard. But basically, with COVID-19 going on, the, um, internet is being used up more, and it's caused some people's bandwidth or something like that. Websites get slower, and it's kind of a weird phenomenon. I think it's happening more with Netflix, um, but my information is pretty dated at this point. So mm-hmm. that's just another win for physical media. Hmm. I don't know about that. No. Do you remember Symbiotic Titan? Hmm. Kind of. I, I rem- never fully watched it, to be honest. Yeah, me neither. For some reason, I think it was on Netflix too, to be honest. For a while. Yeah, I remember that. I saw that on Twitter when. It was uh, um, put on there. I haven't seen Symbionic Titan. Um, I do remember the promos and stuff when I was a kid. Uh, and oh, it's actually still on. I didn't know it's actually still on Netflix. That's cool. Uh, if you check it out, let me know what you think. It's by the same creator of Dexter's Lab and Samurai Jack, Indy Tartakovsky. I don't think it's all the seasons well, though. Actually, unless, unless there's only one season of Symbiotic Titan, which is only 10 episodes. Yeah, I don't think they ever finished the series. Uh, just what? Not enough viewers. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I can tell you why I didn't watch it as a kid. Cause I think I watched like one episode. I think I watched the, the first episode they ever showed. Okay. I think I watched that too. They're like aliens, but they don't really look different than humans. And yeah. uh, they come to Earth. It's 
It's like a princess and her bodyguard. Her bodyguard. And I think they yeah. develop a romance because why not? But I don't think it's ever confirmed. It's just like a background thing. Like, yeah. like oh, isn't that cute? But but I could be wrong. I haven't seen much of it, so you know. I didn't watch Symbionic Titan as a kid because mostly the title. Because doesn't that title sound really dorky to you, Symbionic Symbi Titan? Well, it's it's for uh, because they all have to merge together to make this big titan that I, fights. Well, yeah, I know the reason, but it's just kind of a dumb name. And I can tell you why. I think Teen Titans ruined it for me. Because I don't think Titan is a big thing. I think Titan is like like a ranger, like a guy who kicks butt down below. He's a small dude. But no, Titan is like a mass. It's supposed to be a massive monolith, you know, that just takes things down. But... So when I saw Symbionic Titan, I thought it was just as dorky as the name Power Rangers. It's just like Super Guy. It's just like, eh, it's not very impressive to me. But that, that was just me as a kid. Uh, I'll, I'll give the show a chance nowadays, of course. Because, I, I mean, I try to give everything a chance. Of course, it doesn't always turn out right. Um, there was Thundercats Roar. That one, that one got that one got canceled after like the first season, right? Yeah, I think so. And I think they had an episode with Teen Titans Go, where they the writers paid the original voice of Lino to reprise um, their version of Lion, like not not the kid Lino in the show, but they brought but they tried to draw the old '80s Lino, and they mm -hmm. made him say. You've shown you've shown me that Thundercats Roar is a worthy successor to our show Thundercats, and anyone who thinks under otherwise is a poopy face with poopy opinions and should not be listened to, and stuff like they, that. Did they really? Did they really make that? They really say did that? that. They made the guy say all that. It's just like, what's this guy doing? What are they doing? That's, they got that's so like that's that's like that's like kicking a horse while it's already down. I, I'd say that's just like throwing a fit. Like, see. G, he likes our show, so that means it's good. So you can all shut up now. Yeah. Are you? So, what do you think of Thundercats Roar? Have you seen it? I don't think I. I, I, I think I watched maybe one episode, so I can't say much. I was never a big Thundercats kid, to be honest. Zenshin Rio says that if Symbionic Titan were released nowadays, it would do so well. I don't think so, to be honest. I don't think so either. Um, I, and the only reason why I say that is because of how how we're portraying our media now. That it has to have an agenda, but no, I won't no, go too no. far into that. You're just watching all the I shows won't... that has that stuff, and you're complaining about it. There are tons no, I'm of, just saying. There's I think, tons of I shows think it, going I, I on nowadays that don't that. have any politics involved. Mostly I think anime. that would. I think. I think. A, I think a show like that would fall into politics, though. I don't think so. I think. I think a show that tries to take out politics. Uh. Excuse me. A show that takes out politics will make it more, much more timeless and easy to watch later on. So, maybe Symbionic Titan would do pretty well, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any of that. Any, like, agendas, like you said. Because I think people are tired of getting shows where characters just talk about their feelings. I'm not I don't naming know. specific shows, but if you know... I know I'm exactly about, what you're talking about. I'm not going to say it, though. Yeah, because, like, if the fandom knew we were talking about them, they might actually come over and complain at us all day. I don't know about that. Um, I do know about that, so just don't. If you know the name of the show, then don't mention the show. Uh, uh, no, I'm typing but, it on Discord. To see if I got if I got the answer right. But if I have to say anything, I say the show that I'm talking about. Um, it's got good songs, and the first season was pretty good. I, I really liked that one. But then it's I feel I, I feel like another one that also had like a. Uh, I'll take this one in your chat, but um. What's it called? Uh, oh my god, what is it called? Oh. It's called O? 
No, no, I found it. I'm, t I'm typing it to you because... Because I think I have I think I have a couple of, that got changed because of politics. Yep, I was right. Cool. Yeah. And I liked one of them too, to be honest. I thought it was pretty okay. Yeah, I liked uh, the second one. Ah, uh, geez, they're not gonna know what we're talking about. Oh, I know. Uh, I know they're not. But I'm just. I was just. It's. I'm trying to be as vague as possible because. There's a big fan well, for this. I'll say this. If you have a show, make sure to have a goal for your show in mind and don't change that goal. Just and and the goal could be like just make sure the characters uh are always nice to each other. They're you know, always friendly. They they don't complain all that much and if a if an episode ends, it does not end on characters whining and crying. I don't mind conflict though. I don't mind like that type of stuff. Yeah, but I think it should get resolved. Unless it's like a, a special event. Uh, hang on. It's hard for me to be vague about this stuff. But if if you say to... If you say a character... Is a... Uh, it's very hard to be vague. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Never mind. It's it's no biggie. We, if, yeah. if maybe we could discuss this on our own time. But... Well, yeah. I mean, it's not... Or, 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 or better yet, just on our podcast on your podcast if you know you ever get around to writing all those rules i mean i don't i don't know why we should have rules but i'll <laughs> that was the point of a podcast what's the point of a podcast if i can't speak with my mind yeah well speak speak from your mind right now do it yeah five what, seconds for this yeah, five four for... three two one go okay i don't think steven universe or uh Adventure Time is all that good. <coughs> there you go. I spoke from my mind. <laughs> and you see how short that was? You see how short? You just said you didn't like you didn't like the show, but you need to expand. You well, yeah, expand I could. Like, I you can't need to expand, expand like my I water like hose it. when I when I turn on the faucet and then the water comes out and it just sprays all over the place because I don't have I didn't fix the uh, the gap in the hose. Yeah, but you you didn't you didn't ask me to expand it. You just you just said make me a quick one thing. But something that like should five be seconds. self self explanatory. You gotta expand. So, you gotta well, ex yeah, but you gave you gave me five seconds to say something, and I said it. Yeah, in five but seconds. this is why you need to write it down. <laughs> um. So for Neo, by the way, I just I know we're going off topic. But uh, Neo, what type of what what kind of YouTubers do you guys watch on your own? I watch a lot of Let's Players. Uh, one of the one, one of the ones I've recently watched. He, I like watching in very informal let's players where they talk about about like mechanics of the game or uh, how where they do everything in the game. Uh, one of the ones that I like watching is called Blue Lizard Jello. He's he's like a Dark Souls, um, FirmSoft player. Um, he, I like him a lot. Okay, is he funny? Um, does he tell jokes um, or, or is it just informational? Uh, it's not it's not so much jokey. He is very informational. And I, I like I like being I like learning for the most part. I like watching a lot of like history stuff, especially about like uh, weapon history. I like watching that, a lot of that type of stuff where uh, weapons are nowadays, or how they were made, or um, what they did to change a war. So I, I like watching like a lot of history stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, history is pretty cool. So yeah, I watch I watch a lot of like um, very in informative uh, let's players, and then I watch a couple that aren't so informative, but they're just entertaining to watch. Uh, let's see, YouTubers that I watch, uh, Yong Ye yeah is at the top of my head right now. Uh, he does gaming videos, uh, stuff mostly news related. It's mostly news. He doesn't do like any gaming stuff. He just does news of games. Yeah, he doesn't play games himself. He just talks about stuff related. No, he to does games. play them. He just doesn't uh, show gameplay of them. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't play it on his channel. I mean. Yeah. And that's cool. Uh, let's see here. I think your character is balding. No, I just didn't add. You're gonna see. Uh, the video oh, okay. is not caught up with time. You see, I'm ahead of time right now. I know the future. Oh, are you? I know it's like 30 seconds, right? Probably. 
Uh, I'm gonna check out the chat for a sec. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at the chat right now. Okay. Well, uh, how was your day? I mean, my, my day is pretty good. I've been honestly, I've been sleeping for almost all day. Just been chilling. You can't sleep your days away, Ethan. A day. I'm sorry. When you sleep through the day, you miss out on all kinds of stuff. Well, I was watching something and, and then I fell asleep on it, and then so. That's your excuse. Uh, it's usually what I do. I usually watch YouTube, and then like. I relax and I just fall asleep. Okay. That's my that's 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 my reasoning. Well, that's a very interesting reasoning. Uh, Mr. Leviathan Bree. Uh, what inspired him to draw was uh, what is it? Danny Anchinucci, who is the creator of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yes, you got that right. You know me. Pretty well. Uh, no, I was just I was just making sure that uh, that 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 answer got that question got answered. I think I also addressed this in the last stream, but Danny Antonucci is to be brief. Danny Antonucci created Ed and Eddie, my favorite cartoon of all time. Very funny, great characters. I remember most of the episodes' dialogue, so that you know tells a lot about you know my standing with the show. <laughs> And Danny Antonucci has always been a uh, pretty big inspiration for me, and it'd be great <laughs> to meet him. There's 57 people watching us, man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that is. Thanks, thanks for watching. If you're watching this as like a podcast, um, stop it! <laughs> stop it now! Or Come on! Watch this as a video. That's why I've got the video. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can do that's why. You want, that's why. That's why, you, that's why you're showing your beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, face. my beautiful unshaven face. And yeah, I can't say too much. Hair. I haven't shaved either. It's the quarantine beard. All the ladies love it. Yeah. Oh, hey, didn't you also get the quarantine haircut? I did get a quarantine. I I, I went I went bald. <laughs> yeah, but you know it grew back, didn't it? Well, hey, that's what kind of hair does. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry about that, man. But uh, if you want, we can, you know, do a quarantine haircut again. We should do it to you. No, no. I'm, I'm I, I, I keep. I think I, I think we should shave your head. No, no. I like my my hair, my unnaturally <laughs> curly hair. Unnaturally or naturally? I said unnaturally because for much of my life, I didn't think it was curly until high school. Until high school happened. <laughs> Let's see. We gave. I just gave him some black hair. So what? Uh, what? Uh, what exactly are you doing with this character? I thought he was supposed to be a skunk. Are you changing his hair color to be like, uh, like a fox because he's making it like his hair brown and stuff. No, I dyed it black. The brown is just temporary colors to help the idea get across. Oh, I just saw you change it black. Yeah. Now I just gotta figure out how to do the. The streak? Oh, yeah, the white streak. But first, let me save. I hate this program because it crashes a lot and it does it without notice. What's the program? It's called Animate. Oh, Animate. Oh, yeah. I should really move on to Toon Boom. Um, that's what everyone does. And, and it's, it's, I hear it's actually better equipped. As long as it doesn't just sh crash on me, I should be good. But it's very hard for me to move on to a new. Did you watch Star vs. the Forces of Evil? Yes. And I don't remember much of it, to be honest. I remember some, but not a lot. I liked it, but it did have some, you know, touchy feely moments, if you know what I mean. Where... I don't mind. I don't mind touchy feely moments, though. As long as as long as it's explained well and it's well thought out. Yeah, but it's the kind where it's just like, should you really be talking about this right now? Um, but I did think the finale was all right, if not a bit confusing. Uh, if you don't want uh, me spoiling it, you know. You want uh, to I don't. Want, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know spoiling it for like fifty-seven people, but. Yeah, um, I like hearing spoilers, though. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Leviathan Bree, was it hard? To, was it hard to draw when you first began? I would say yes, because he tried to draw a character that was uh, a Daddy Antonucci drew, and it Wait, was garbage. <laughs> That's from what that he told me. That never happened. What are you talking yeah. 
Yeah, you, well, you weren't you weren't good when you first began. What? Wait, what are you what are you talking about? Nobody can be asking. Was it hard to draw when you first began? Was it hard to draw? Well, by that that logic, it means no, because it was easy to draw when I first began. If you mean did it look as good as I am now, I'd say no, because you know, I got years of experience after that. You know, Ethan, I, I created cartoons since before we even knew each other, right? I, I knew that. Yeah, and I told you all about my cartoons, so you should have known. Yeah, that. I, I I know Durr, and but I'm saying I, I probably was it probably didn't start out very good. I draw stick figures. You probably started out with better stick figures. <laughs> uh, I can't be certain of what I first started out with, but I do have earlier drawings. In fact. <laughs> You're actually gonna look for it. I have an old folder. So here we go. This is classic. <laughs> now I'm just gonna sure. Okay, this is an old drawing I made in third or fourth grade of a character, my first cartoon character. This I can't see it yet. I present and I wish I had the original version. This is his Christmas design. But feast your eyes on Den, the rabbit. Isn't he spiffy? Look how great that looks, too. I can't see anything. Don't worry, you will. Now, um, interesting thing about how I created that character. Everyone, did anyone watch Doug Tenacle's Cat Scratch on Nickelodeon? Yeah, that's what it was. It was Cash Scratch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the promos, they would always have these um, shorts with the... Uh, excuse me. With the creators, where they draw their characters, right? And he drew Mr. Blake. And I thought that looked really cool and pretty easy to draw. So, as a child... Uh, I can't remember how old I was. Seven or eight? I think it was eight. But I watched that and I thought to myself, wow, that's so easy. And I can make it look like a real cartoon character. So and I can impress everyone. So <laughs> but I didn't want to draw him. I wanted to draw Gordon from the show, who's a square cat with like a orange part of his eye. I attempted that. I drew a square. I drew some eyes. And I th and I couldn't remember how he looked, so I drew so I just shaded the corner, and I just thought to myself, this this doesn't look like Gordon at all. So I'm just gonna draw some. <laughs> that's what stupid... it, That's what it was. It was Gordon. Yeah, it was supposed to be Gordon, but I, I just figured I'm just gonna change it to a stupid rabbit and added some dumb some dumb ears and you know a big buck tooth <laughs> grin and then some dopey legs and arms and and then I looked at it and I thought to myself. This is pretty good. I like this. <laughs> this is this could be something. And then and then I had a realization moment. Like, wait. What if I made a cartoon? What if I made characters that were on the TV? You had you had an epiphany moment? Yeah. And that that was pretty much the turning point of my life. And That's funny. immediately I decided, okay, okay, he needs friends. He needs friends. Well, what other animals could be his friends? <laughs> and I don't remember all the ones I drew, but I do remember there was a flamingo. I remember a turtle. There was a goldfish, and there was a turtle. I lost yeah. the draw. I drew these on scraps of paper. The, the flamingo and the uh, goldfish, uh. I don't know what happened to them, but I found the turtle. So I just figured, okay, his best friend's the turtle. And uh, I had to come up with names, and that took forever because I was not good with names as an eight-year-old. So I named the rabbit Den, Den Wilkinder, and the turtle became Boge, which Boge. I don't think is even a word. But uh, it would be a cartoon about them, about they how they live in a town. Boge is a. Uh, a turtle and he's slow so Den carries him in his hands and uh, it, it would be uh, pretty neat that's the first cartoon I ever thought of and I still hope to one day get that onto television 
And yes, I said television. Because it uh, seems like most people nowadays are moving from TV to the internet. Uh, but I still... I still have that child dream. Okay, now to work on the ears. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I ever had like any type of get a finished moment of what I wanted of what I wanted to be. Kristen, Kristen was definitely you know. Kristen always wanted to be an animator, and you know he's always strived towards that. And you know he he's taking big steps, and you know I'm really I'm always proud of him. You know. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I always uh, share my ideas with Ethan, especially as a kid. We used to hang yeah, out. Yeah, I'm his idea guy, basically. Yeah. I bounce ideas off of him. Sometimes he doesn't pitch good ideas back, but usually I get some stuff, you know, from interactions at least. Technically, this streaming was technically my suggestion. Um, this one in particular was more of my brother's. Because, uh, you know, he pretty much said I need to engage my audience more. And uh, speaking of engaging the audience, I should probably look at, you know, what the chat says. I mean, chat's mostly just... Uh, Jeffrey uh... Kapotaj, um Hi, guys. You've mentioned the Discord. So do you guys have a Discord server? Yes, we do. It is yes, in the do. description. And uh, check it out. It's called Yow Life. And we appreciate it if you could join. What was that? What was what? Sorry, sorry. I... One moment, I want to mute myself. Okay, looks like we're going to have a no Ethan moment again. Let's see. Oh, uh, to those who made it this far, um, I'm guessing if you want to know about Gamers 2 and how that's going, just let me know in the chat. And uh, first one to do it will get mentioned, and uh, I'll talk about it. Uh, as far as this drawing goes, I know I've, I've uh, been stuck on here, so I promise I'm gonna get that going some more. All right, sorry about that. My my brother's laughing like crazy because of our kitten doing something dumb. Yeah, uh, Ethan and his brother got a new kitten. Uh, so um, when are you gonna, you know, eat it? Um, whenever you come over, man. I mean, you are a Filipino. Well, that doesn't mean, you know, I eat... That doesn't mean I eat cats, specifically. I mean, our and, Philippines... And they, they don't eat cats, just so you know. Especially nowadays. Yeah, I'm Filipino. Pacific Hi Pacific Islander. I almost said Pacific Highlander. What uh, where where is your family from, by the way? Like, what part of the what part of the Philippines? Cebu. Cebu. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cebu City. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Zenshin Rio, you asked about gamers too. And Brandon yeah, he, Tinch, he, you asked about Matt and Julie. Yeah. I do have the script for gamers too, pretty much written up. I do have all the events that would happen, and I just want to tweak it some more, give some more character moments that define you know who they are it's pretty simple but it also has a bigger meaning um and it's also and I'm, i want to have more of a wow factor to it like uh wow i can't believe how he did that scene stuff like that um it's kind of it is pretty intimidating because every comment on every video i have every video i have always has a where's gamers 2 are you going to make gamers too? And I don't mind that too much. Um, but it does put the pressure on to make a good good sequel. I think what it comes down to is that Chris is my gamers the first one. I have no idea what you said, Ethan. I, I apologize. You sounded... Uh, I can't hear you. Um, you said what it comes down to is something? Yeah, what it comes down there to is Chris is trying to work on the, the, the script where... Not only can you understand it in English, but you can also understand it if it's not if you don't speak it. Exactly. That that was one of the big appeals about the first gamers. Yeah, they, it was it was there was no language, so uh, there was that's a why bit it was of language so with the speech bubbles, but you could still figure it all out. Yeah. 
Uh, and that's one thing I need to replicate. So, the voice, I will try to incorporate the voice actors. Maybe they'll make sounds, you know. Uh, maybe they'll say short words. Uh, there, there's a lot that can be done. Well, I mean, English is still very, I think English is one of the most spoken languages around the world. Well, surprisingly, my second highest, um country that watches my videos is brazil which they mostly speak portuguese in there they do speak portuguese yeah there's actually a, a pretty good channel that um helps make portuguese dubs of my work called fox teller uh definitely check them out they're pretty good uh it's always hard for me to get uh some videos out to them i'm trying to get a lore vicious uh video to them that has no dialogue the only issue is that uh, for some reason, the project's giving me trouble, and now I gotta find every file, every audio file that I used in there. So it's not impossible. It's just gonna take some time, and I don't have time right now. Not at the moment. Not at the moment, but I will soon, soon enough. So, um, speaking of time and what I'm gonna be doing, uh, I guess up until the end of the plush campaign, I should be doing more of these streams, where Probably. Yeah, and they may not always feature Ethan. Uh, I prefer it if they did, but they might not. So I mean, I I work. I actually have a job. Chris and this is his job, so he has way more free time than I do. Yeah. So and that's understandable. You know, you you gotta pay the bills somehow. So. So. Um. um but uh, Chris is doing it tomorrow, and if he does it around eight, I should be by. I should be able to join him as well. Uh, yes, I'll be doing it tomorrow. And, uh... Ooh, jeez. Look at that time. Okay, I think we're gonna end this off at 10.30. That, because I still haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, and I don't <laughs> want to eat on stream. Uh... Well, I, I probably should have told you that I already did. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. What did you eat? Did you bring I ate some rice class? chicken. Did you bring enough for the whole stream? Um, I probably if they could eat one family bucket, they all get a bite of chicken. Just a single bite, um, and, and you don't bite into it either. He bites down and gives you what he bit off. He mails you it in a little sealed envelope. I I don't know about that. Well, now you do. Now, are you getting on that? How many bites have you taken so far? We we got like fifty people, right? I'm only eating one chicken, bro. Well, we'll separate that chicken into smaller bites. I I don't think that's gonna be good, especially with COVID nineteen going around. I don't think people want my saliva all over them. Okay, then wash your mouth out with alcohol. Why is it that I always have to tell you how to fix your problems? <laughs> And yes, I was lazy and just uh, reversed the ears. It makes things easier. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, I saw that. And we only went through two characters, man. <laughs> That's well, okay. I, we got more. I, I only one character, to be honest. I told uh, you this, this could take some time, but I, I didn't say I'm not going to get to them. Uh, to those uh, of you that did see the character, please uh, come in tomorrow uh, when we continue. Uh, we're not ending right now, but we'll end in 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, you'll get to see more of your character come out. Abthine, or Diary, I, I, I think that's how you pronounce your name, uh, Diary, uh, he's asking if he can have boneless or bone wings. It's going to be bone because it's from KFC, so. Mar Marisol Baldas. Yeah, life, you're Filipino? Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, I visited my family in the Philippines before. Uh, he's not fully Filipino. He's half Filipino, right? If you want to get technical, but on my college, you know, application, that's what I put. You know, I, I mean, I put, I put Hispanic for mine, but I'm only one quarter. So. And you keep complaining, like whenever I make a Mexican joke, you're like, "Dude, I'm Mexican." Like when I said my neighbor who was Mexican was not very attractive to me, you're like, "Dude." I'm Mexican, and I'm telling you, yeah, but I don't find you very attractive. <laughs> you know, I did that to mess with you, right? <laughs> I know it's not. It's 
I can take a joke. That's funny. But it is funny. <laughs> so, Ethan, uh, what's your favorite cartoon? My favorite cartoon. One that I probably could watch as much as I want to Billy and Mandy. I'm not sure we heard you. Did you say Billy and Mandy? Yeah. Yeah, Billy and Mandy was pretty good. I feel, um, I, feel like, I feel like it's one that I can always watch throughout the ages, no matter what uh, or how old I am. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's one of those timeless... There's a lot of timeless cartoons where you can... No matter when you watch them, they're still as good as you remember. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're getting that nowadays. It seems like most... It seems like a lot of cartoons on Cartoon Network just want to be commentaries. Uh, but but without getting into that right now, uh, yeah, uh, Billy and Mandy was pretty good. It's got that brand of dark humor that I actually like. Because uh, I normally hate dark humor, but Billy and Mandy does it pretty good where it's all cartoonish. People get hurt, people get, you know, disemboweled, but it's not that bad. They're still kicking. Uh, Spark the Wolf. Uh, with the whole drawing whisper, the the wolf from Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, he is he already has some of the uh, suggestions that he's already working on. Um, he's working on the second one right now. Uh, we're gonna be doing a stream probably tomorrow to um, for more suggestions. So hopefully, if he can get to it, he'll try to do that one. Yeah, uh, show up tomorrow. Uh, sh uh, throw some more suggestions just before the stream, uh, maybe in the beginning, and I'll put them on the list, and we'll get to those. These freaking ears. I want them to stand out, but I don't want them to be too distracting, you know? <laughs> yeah, you you took you, you did that Gengar in like, I don't know, like 30 or so minutes, and you're just working on this character for like nearly two, an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fast worker. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and working with... If I was sketching these out on paper, I promise you, this would be a lot faster. I'd probably have this character done. But then again, if I did it on paper, it wouldn't be in color. So, you know. Mm, probably not. Yeah. You got some benefits. You got some downsides. You got some water. <laughs> this is, this stream has been pretty relaxing, man. It's like very, uh, I don't know. We, we really should start doing our podcast pretty soon. Maybe maybe whenever, whenever I get moving, we can start doing our podcast. <laughs> like, you mean when you move? Or yeah. yeah sure uh we could do it in your room oh um i guess i can mention this on stream because it's not that big but when you do move into your room um just just keep your game systems in your room that's what i'm doing i'm not keeping i'm not taking any of it out yeah don't don't put it in the uh living room because nope. just don't I'm be not. surprised if my sister might um play your games or take your games and play them and Maybe oh yeah, even I, try I, to tell I, you that I, I they know. were hers in the first place because it's happened. Oh, right, I'm keeping all my stuff in my room, and I'm probably gonna keep my room locked if possible. I don't think she's gonna steal it if she's if it's in your room. I'm not even sure mm. if she's gonna go into your room. It's just if you had it out in the living room, she's just like, well, it's already out here. Oh, uh, I guess that's fair enough. Because I, I do have, uh, and not to flex or anything, I have my PS4 Pro, I have my Xbox One. Mm. I have my VR and I have my I laptop. Wish I had and my VR, toilet. but at some point I should get that. I thought you didn't like VR because you can't handle first person. I said stuff. I don't like first person shooter games, but I think VR will work out for me because um because with first person shoot with first person games, not just shooter, um you move your head with a joystick and it just feels unnatural and I I'm assuming that's the reason. I just get sick. I was able to beat Doom, and I keep talking about that, but I just didn't feel good after doing that. Same thing with Portal. Yeah. I don't know what the problem is, but I know I'm not alone. Portal, I wish they'd make a Portal 3. Uh, well, I mean, Dice, I mean, uh, Valve can't count to 3. Even, like, there's references to um, that type of stuff. It's always funny, though. There, there's there's even a mod for Portal 2 where, uh, and it's a pretty extensive mod where like it makes like its own like 
basically its own game that's using the the map builder that's in Portal 2. It's actually pretty pretty good, pretty good mod, and they 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 have uh, it's all voice acted too. And um, one of the things reference is that like some people just can't count to three. Hang on a sec. So it's pretty funny. I forgot what the the the, the, the mod is called. I have too many tabs open. I literally, I literally had to start watching my anime. <laughs> yeah. So I literally have like, like yeah. I don't know, like ten or so tabs open. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I guess I'll work on the nose and the mouth. That that shouldn't be too hard. Just gonna find it. There it is. I really should have made these eyes separate symbols. It would have been easier. It's just that I figured uh, I didn't have to. And we'll go in front of this one. And I draw noses in a variety of ways. I think for now I'll just go with the symbol point. I'll straighten that out. I'll copy that. And I'll move that. I'll paste that. I'll fill that. And I'll delete that. Then I'll, I'm lazy, so I'll just take this mouth, go up here, paste that mouth, smooth it out, rough it out. <laughs> People are saying just eat while you're streaming. <laughs> uh, I don't work that way. I, I can't eat and work. That's just gross. Oh, also, uh, just so you know, I've done most of this work with a mouse. I have, I barely used my stylus. Uh, even now, I'm just using the mouse because it's just easier. Yeah, I think you only use the stylus for the sketching, right? Exactly, just for sketches. Yeah. When it comes yeah. to this stuff, I just, you know, it just becomes mechanical. Uh, Avon Diary, what is your question? Let's see if you can post it really quickly so I can ask you that question or answer it myself if I already know the answer to it. Do, 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 do. Nose pointy. Ath Nose is pointy. Athen Diary, you say he looks so sad. Is the character okay? Uh, no, sorry. I'm sorry, Athen. He, he kind of, uh, you know, cut the cheese, uh, um, and, uh, it, it kind of stunk real bad, and now his friends, um, his friends are calling him bad names. Um, and it's a shame because they were talking about Sonic X, and it was a really good show. But then, <laughs> then he just sort of let one out, and now, now they blacklisted him. They black they they blacklisted him just like his hair, which, you know, I, I think I should make that headband. <laughs> there we go. That, that I'm kind of happy with that. Well, yeah, most headbands have to match their hair color, right? That's that's typically what you want to. I'm just trying to make the color the dichotomy work. I'm not sure I want. I'm not sure about that streak. I'm, if I gave him a streak, it wouldn't come up that much because he's got these cat ears on now, thanks to suggestions. So don't blame me. So maybe I could just make these three pieces in front of him. You know the uh, color bits. His uh, his bangs are the white part. I, I might uh, um, so his question now. is he wants to become an anime artist do you think is it if it is possible even though he's from the US Who are you talking I think it's about? Uh, 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 Ethan uh, F Ron, can you restate the question and answer yeah it's for F, F I can't pronounce this guy's name Mr. Diary my question is he wants to become oh. an anime artist do you think it's possible if he's from the, you know, the US let me answer that I think it's possible. It is absolutely possible. Have you heard of Mike and Al? As far as I know, he's not Japanese, but he created an anime. I mean, even I mean, even like even like Avatar: The Last Airbender is that, heavily inspired by anime. Don't say heavily inspired. It is anime. People don't want to call it that because it aired on Nickelodeon and wasn't made in Japan. But it was animated in like an Asian territory, right? So it's definitely an anime. 
and not just that if you really want to be more specific ruby that was made in texas and japan has it listed in anime in fact they actually made up a term called um american anime american anime yeah american anime or american anime yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can 100 become an anime art, uh, anime artist if you if if you want. You have to work hard for it, but I mean, you have to work for yeah, anything. The you anime want art want. style is definitely much harder than a cartoon art style. Yeah. Um, I thank Ruby for uh, being able to uh, show that you can make an anime even if you're not from uh, Japan. Mhm. Mm Actually, I think. Uh, going back, I said Americanime. I think it's actually Amerime. I think that was the word for it. Uh, as far as Ruby goes, I didn't watch... I watched Ruby up until, what, Volume 4? Uh, I The last episode I saw was the one where Ruby's eyes activate, and uh, then... And, like, uh, her friend died... I'm not gonna say who in case someone hasn't seen it. I, I've never seen Ruby. I, I guess I recommend it. It's pretty. I good. think I've seen like the first episode of Ruby, and that's it. I know some of the characters, like all the characters, have weapons is some form of melee attack, and then a shotgun, or yeah. not a melee, and then and then like a, a gun variant of them. Yeah, they all transform. Yeah, yeah um, and, and I know I know one of the ones that a lot of people like drawing is like this blonde hair chick where she has yeah. like gauntlets on her hands and they, they're shotgun shells which means it seems excessively dangerous to put shotgun shells near your hands well that just adds to how tough she is because she can take the blast I still I don't I don't think it's too smart though <laughs> yeah if you think about it functionally it kind of doesn't work but did I don't just, think it's gonna matter. Cream, by the way what did you pick up your cat cream by the way yeah she wanted in so i had to let her in she um <laughs> she comes in she comes to my door and meows a lot when she wants to come in and uh i usually don't like it when she comes into my office which is where i am now because she likes to knock stuff over uh so i'm just keeping her close but yeah ruby got really popular it's in, even in games now there's like skins of ruby characters in games now Wow, that's cool. Yeah, like in Smite, they have it. Um, I think uh, I, I know. I know they have in Smite. I know they have Ruby characters in Smite, which well, is a pretty popular game. Well, they also have Ruby game. characters in uh, that Blaze Blue tag team battle. Oh, in Blaze Blue? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I never, I never played Blaze Blue though. Um, it's pretty good. Last time I played it, I played uh, the one for PS2. Uh, yeah, I, I recommend it. You're on Steam. It, it might be. My favorite was Tao Kaka. She's like the the comic relief girl, cat girl of the game, and she was pretty funny. I like it when she refers to one character as the booby lady because she has some big, you know, has a big chest. Yeah. She's like, it's the booby lady. That's funny. That is funny. Let me see. Know. I wanted a copy, please. Blaze Blue. They do have some Blaze Blue games. That's very anime. I wouldn't mind some of my characters uh, getting into a fighting game. Uh, well, who who would you want though? Um, I actually attempted it before, and the characters that I was including were Captain A. Captain N and Captain S. Oh, and but that's the but yeah, but like those are all just like game characters. I, I meant like characters. I mean, one of them is already characters that already exist, which is Captain N, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, he. And, he, and wasn't he in Smash? Not. I thought. No, sadly not. He deserves to be in Smash Brothers. He's the master of Nintendo. Yeah, he was in a Deke cartoon, but Nintendo still owns the rights to it. They could, they legally could put him in there. They just don't. I don't even think they remember he exists. Well, I mean, there's a. I feel like there's a. I feel that way a lot for a lot of games, other than you know, not just that. But I feel like a lot of games people that don't remember they exist. Like, uh, Spyro the Dragon hasn't had hasn't had a series for a while. They they changed it to what is it? What is it that um. 
Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to wait for you to... Sky Legends or whatever it's called? Uh, what is it called? Skylanders. Skylanders, there you go. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a Spyro game. That's just like... No, it's not. So... But you know about the newer game, the newer games they released, right? Uh, which ones? Well, I was hoping you'd get it, but uh, the Reignited Trilogy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I that's, that's, that's a remake, though. That's not new that's the remake they're just remaking the what the what the old ones were it is very good though i will give it that it's very good remake and i can't wait for more remakes and i can't wait for the new crash bandicoot 4 oh, game me too three. crash bandicoot 4 looks awesome i remember <laughs> seeing the trailer and i just and hang on i gotta take a drink before i talk about this <laughs> you get <all> excited <laughs> we just go on random tangents like this it's i love it <laughs> yeah anyway so when I saw the Crash Bandicoot trailer, uh, you know, I thought it was looking good. And then when Crash came on screen, and he's like running towards the camera. I just thought, man, he's looking good. He's looking good. <laughs> and then and then we get more close-ups of him. It's like, yeah, he's looking real good. Crash is looking good. That, that's uh, moral. Yeah. Um, do you like think that. Conker's Bad Fur Day should come back like a remake? Like an actual remake, not like the one they did it for um, the Xbox. Xbox. I don't know. I feel like it, it was already remade, and the graphics on that remake actually looks impressive, even to this day. I'm I'm surprised what they were able to crank out. Rareware always seems to have seems to push the hardware to its limit, at least in the old days. But um, yeah, I don't think a remake is really needed. We just just give us the freaking sequel. We we almost had one with Project Spark. And then they made the episode one, and they never made any other episodes. It's just like, the first episode was okay, but it's, uh, they never finished it, so it's not I'm, even... I'm, I'm still waiting for my Metroid Prime 4. Well, they at least they announced that. They announced Is it Metroid. already announced? Oh, okay. Yeah, they announced it. Um, I'm happy now. It's just that they did, they announced it and said that they were going to have to delay it because they weren't... What they made didn't just didn't feel like Metroid Prime 4. So they got the original um, people that made the Metroid Prime series on it to help make the, the fourth installment. I know they're putting the trilogies on Switch. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be so happy with that. Did they redo that already? Well, if they do that, I'm going to pick that up because I haven't played those games. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to see actually. Because... I have played Metroid ones? Prime on GameCube, but I haven't gotten very far in that game because uh, I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Let's see. I'm just going to turn this into an object, make it easier. Uh, colors don't matter right now. I'm going to change the color later. It says it was supposed to be released in June 19th, but I don't know if it was. What game are you talking about? Metroid Prime the Trilogy. Okay. <clears throat> I know there is a Metroid Prime Trilogy compilation for like the Wii, I for think. For the Wii, yeah, and Wii U. Oh, there's one for Wii U? There should be, I'm pretty sure. If there is, then maybe I'll pick that one up. Just whatever makes it HD for me. Uh, technically, it's HD on Wii. I, is yeah. it not? No. Not Wii a, doesn't run on... No. Wii doesn't want 720, huh? No. Well, you can mod it so that it does, but it costs money to do that. And the best solution is to put it into your Wii U, but it's not... It's like an emulation of the Wii software. Mm -hmm. And I saw a comparison video and it's just not as good as modding the Wii. So, and it's also not as good as Wii U games in general. Might as well just but buy it on Wii U if it is on Wii U. Yeah. Can I also add that Wii U is a dumb name? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. And every time I say that, I think of that SpongeBob episode with Patrick and they're looking for the maniac and 
Patrick's just got the walkie-talkie and he's walking and he's like, wee hoo, wee hoo, wee hoo. And then he picks up the paper oh, maniac. Oh my god, he's hideous! I see him. Where is he? He's just stint on the intersection of Conch and Coral. He's menacing. He's just standing there. Menacingly! He's going to attack! <laughs> he's crying. He, like he's does he's doing his battle cry. But yeah, that that's what I think about. And I think there is a meme where you know they make Have you seen, have you seen uh, Mario Origami King yet? I see the trailer and that looks really good. I wouldn't mind it, it, it thing, game. It's getting some amazing feedback. It it, it knocked down it um the top position from I think it was I think it knocked down um, Animal Crossing from number one position. And you said that games nowadays are all about politics and agendas. Uh, no, I said I, no. I didn't say that. I said yeah, you did. That, like, you said that said to that me in private. TV shows. Well, you cut out there, so all we can assume is you said, I, I submit to you, Kristen, and your almighty knowledge. TV so, shows. Thank you. A and your TV shows. Thank you with that as well, Ethan. Um, I'm glad TV you saw the side of things. TV shows. You, you, um, we don't know what you said, Ethan, because before you said in TV shows, you cut out, so, you know. Uh, you, you're, you're just messing with me now. No, no, I'm serious. Oh, no, no, you're messing it, with me. I don't know. No, I'm serious. If you want to repeat know. yourself, in all seriousness, if you want to repeat yourself, go ahead. Uh, could you do that to me, Kristen? That's really rude. So, anyway, I, I, I'd love to pick up Mario Origami King, or uh, yeah, whatever this, it was called. I, I've never been a big Paper Mario fan, to be honest. I've never played any of them. Actually, actually that's a lie. I've played Paper Mario... I think it's called the Thousand Year Door, or, or was it? Um, what was the one on Wii? Uh, the one on Wii was. Um, I don't know right now. I think the Thousand Year Door was a GameCube one, though. It was, yeah. Uh, I don't have time to look it up, but I'm sure you could. I can't look it up yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not Oracle uh, Kings. Jeffrey Cabotage, what time will we be streaming tomorrow? Super Paper Mario. Um, wow, that's a creative name. Let's yes. see. Tomorrow, <laughs> mm, I guess I, I guess we'll just stream at uh, eight o'clock at um. This is eight p.m. Yeah, eight p.m. We we live uh. Mountain time. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna be eight for us, uh, which is okay. I might do more in the morning. Uh, that depends. Would you guys watch a stream that was early in the morning? And by early, I mean let's say mm, nine o'clock Mountain Time. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah, nine, 9 a.m. in the morning. It's it's at breakfast time. So, if you show up with your bowl of cereal, you know, uh, you can join me and Ethan, or just me, because Ethan usually doesn't get up that early, because he... I'll be at work. That, that's his excuse for everything. He'll be at work. <laughs> that's why That's why you missed my birthday party that one time when... That one time in fifth grade, you missed my birthday party. We didn't meet each other until sixth grade. Ex that's no excuse. You should have been there. I, you know, I invited everyone in school, and you didn't show up in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. I'm gonna drag this line down. We need to play Luigi's Mansion Three, man. But I haven't been Luigi's Mansion Two yet. Do you have Luigi's Mansion Three then? Yeah, actually, I think I do. We'll have to I play just, it. I don't like the whole mission-based structure of Luigi's Mansion 2. 
I don't think Luigi Mansion 3 does that. I don't remember. It's been a while. I hope so. I know it's, it's, I know, I know it's fully co-op, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, it's got to be. I think uh, it's got Gooigi. Yeah, it's got Gooigi. I think I think it's fully co-op. It's not fully co-op until you get Gooigi. It's understandable. Kind of weird, though, they have to unlock co-op mode. It seems like that should be, you know, already accessible. Yeah. Yeah. You also need to have a uh, online Switch membership, which I don't know if you have. No, seriously, I don't want to buy yeah. anything. Is it free? No. Oh. But it is twenty bucks for a year. Oh, but that's money. You know how much <laughs> the Wii costed for online support? It, what? What nothing. do you mean online support? What do you mean by that? Oh, you, you mean could, nothing? Yeah. yeah. Costed nothing, and that was a great deal. Well, we live in a world where you have to buy the internet, basically. I know that, but I already own the internet. Why do I have to buy more? Why do I have to buy access to a person's internet, or something <laughs> like that? What do I? What do we live in the dark ages? We don't live in in like the 1800s anymore. Our internet should be free. Okay. So I think uh, I think what I got here will do for now. Uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. And um, let me just check the chat once more. Let's scan through it, see if there's any last minute questions anyone wants to ask before we, you know, end it off. Uh, I'm gonna scroll through this. Onyx Wool Studio. I like your Pikachu shirt. Hey, thanks. I'm glad glad to hear that. Uh, let's see here. Um, yes, we, we got that the Wii version was called Super Paper Mario. Thank, thanks, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, hey, Ethan, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, what character would you want in Smash Brothers? If you could choose any character, any franchise, as long as they're a video game character, first off, just set some parameters. Any franchise, um... who do you want? Do they have? Do, can they have their own game? Can they have their? Can they have games of them? But they didn't start out as games. Sure, as long as they have games, that's the qualifying. Uh, Goku. Or are they related to games? I knew you. Oh, you know what? That. No, 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 no. Doom guy, Doom guy. I want <laughs> Doom guy in Smash. That would be pretty funny. Because like, because like, his his ultimate would automatically be the BFG. Didn't, isn't there a more powerful weapon he, that they invented? Uh, not that I know of. Well, what about that sword, you know, in the new game? Uh, I mean, they could put that, but it's not, technically the BFG is like a nuke. Versus like a one-hit kill to most bot. Wait, I mean, the sword versus a nuke, I now, mean. Okay, okay, in tar terms of Final Smash, how would it go? How would the presentation be? Because... Nowadays, you can't just activate it and shoot whatever you want. It's got to be like a big event. So, how do you think? Well, I mean, I, I mean, the BFG is just like this big energy ball. So, I mean, he would have to charge it up and shoot this big well, green energy ball. And that would and anything in his in that direction would just be zapped to death. Okay, I, I can work with that. That sounds good. So, that sounds pretty standard, pretty easy. It's kind of like Mario, I, I think. Um, yeah, Mar Man, Mario has just this. This, uh, what is it? It's, it's this wave. It's like the beam, right? It's like a flame beam, like basically. Fireball. I haven't. Uh, I might be wrong here because I haven't. Well, I mean, it's a it's a flame helix. It's kind of like it, you know they spin around in a circle. So okay. Um, I haven't seen Beasters, by the way, Taka. I thought that was pronounced Beastars. Is it Beastars? Because it's got an <laughs> A there, and it's like they're stars, and they're also beasts. I don't know. I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're stars. I think that. I think it's called beasters. Okay. Um, I don't. I may be wrong though. Kathleen, you want me to draw Floyd and Ellsworth? Uh, thank you for watching my work enough to know those guys' names. Uh, fortunately, I'll draw them at some point. I'll, I'll update their designs. It's just that uh, right now it's just dedicated to other characters. But speaking of Laura Vicious, don't forget to catch the premiere of Laura Vicious Shocking Science this Wednesday. 
Uh, you're gonna love that. I worked really hard on it. It's pretty good. And you get to see Laura's more scientific side. And it's got a lot of action. And I feel it's pretty good. And it's also got a twist ending. And uh, don't and don't forget these uh, shorts that he is doing are to are to uh, sponsor for his uh, plush that he's trying to get out. Um, if you if you do have the possibility, please buy one. He does have a discount link for the first 100 people that use it. Yes, the discount link is Yao15. That's uh, Y O W W one five. And you can use that for up to 15, 15% off, but that's limited to the first 100 orders. I'll leave a link to the plush page and the shorts in the chat. At least I'll try to. <laughs> you know how uh, you know how it is with uh, these chats. I know how it be. So, anything else you want to add, Ethan? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I think uh, if Kristen does another stream in the night, I'll probably be seeing you guys uh, for the night uh, stream. I won't be, I won't be up for the stream for the the morning stream. I do yeah, not wake up. I'm not a farmer. Um, by the way, did anyone answer if they would be all for that? Oh, uh, I mean, I think some people said that some people said that they're up for it, and then some people said they'd be sleeping. Some people said that'd be nighttime for them. So, some people say ten thirty would be good. So maybe I'll do it then. But uh, we'll determine that tomorrow. Uh, I'll host another stream tomorrow at eight. But as for now, I think we did pretty good. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. That's very important. Some people forget about that one. Share share my videos with your friends. That really helps helps me out a lot, way more than you know. And I just really appreciate any help that I can get right now. Um, also, in the comment section, uh, comment what you want to like for another stream because we're going to try to do more drawing streams. What would you like uh, the theme to be? Like yeah. one of the themes that we thought of of you guys the chat's gonna determine traits for the character so like if the chat chat says like scale skin we'll put scale skin on the character uh think of themes for uh Spikes what other live streams we, we could do or uh st stuff i thought of was like more van like we could do a theme for the whole stream of like vampires like every character suggested i make a vampire form or every character yes. suggested i make a furry form or you know fun stuff like that just weird things leave it in the comments down below leave, leave, leave your suggestions um well actually probably not in this video because uh this video <laughs> is um gonna be unlisted so in any of my videos leave a comment about what you'd like to see in the next stream and uh we'll check it out and um in the next stream we hope to see you there we hope to see you um here and love to see your suggestions and hopefully i can get more of these done so uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Bye now.